you all <gasps> narrowly escape the quickly falling portion of the island that you once stood on with your lives intact and your allies none the worse for wear. You head inland towards the volcano where the treasure and presumably your salvation awaits. You run through sections of the jungle, catching glimpses of more parts of the island, both near and far, falling into a black abyss in the crust of the outer seas, while massive quantities of water from the ocean rush in to fill the endless blank blanket of nothing. Creatures yeah. both familiar and foreign cry out in panic, and birds litter the sky in a frenzy of non-direction. And as you start to head more and more inland, the rumbling starts to settle for a bit. Over an hour of careful but harshly, uh, hastily travel, traveled land, you finally find yourself at a resting point. And before you stands to be some kind of set of ruins that looks familiar to those that you would see in your world in terms of architecture and also mm. very similar to the dungeon that you survived the day prior. I see. So yeah, Honeymoon, she still has, she has like the two uh, not Koroks tucked under her arms like chickens. And I, I mean, she's, she, now that we've kind of come to a stop, she's kind of a little bent double uh, because her strength is subpar. So she's a little <laughs> winded. Um, and so she's holding them like panting with her eye heels. And she says, <sighs> Oh, this place looks quite interesting, actually. Where yes. are we? Um, I'm not quite sure. I think we just kind of started running and happened upon this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking at the map, you can uh, you were following kind of directions both on the map and you know what you got from Clyde, and you are fairly close to the foot of the volcano where one of the entrances supposedly are. Just a little bit more north, and you'll make it there. Uh, honeymoon, she's gonna set down the the two little guys, and in abyssal, um, she'll say, "Do you have any idea where we are? What this place is or used to be?" They all look around, and uh, kind of a couple of them go kind of mimic sort of human motions, like walking up to the door, <laughs> and like one of them looks like it's like waving at each other. Oh. Almost like neighbors. <laughs> it used to be a village. A whole village on this island. Of Wait, humans, perhaps, I presume. Perhaps it's those uh, retirees, adventurers and whatnot, might have settled <laughs> down here for a bit. Though, given the state of the place, it must have been a very long time ago. Uh, would it be possible to do some perceiving, to just to kind of see what clues I can gather just generally about like how old these ruins might be uh, yes. or something along those lines uh, no role needed perceiving <laughs> these uh, hey. these buildings you can tell that they are just as ancient and old as kind of the dungeon that you guys came out of at least mm -hmm. a few hundred years however you do notice that um, some of the pieces that seem to be missing look like damage recently some of the floorboards Ooh. some of the pieces of wood Whatever it was oh. here seems to be salvaged away, although not to any good use, uh, perhaps, as how useful the materials here are is questionable at best. Mm. It is all rotted wood, molded stone, and the like. Uh, Phasos is going to go check out the well. You are also going to look at the well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, great minds. Um, as, as we are walking together, he looks... Yeah. So this well, hmm, honeymoon. Uh, well, <laughs> honeymoon. Down. Honeymoon pauses for a second, taps a nail to her chin, and says, "Well, well, well." <laughs> honeymoon. And then, and then is visibly, and then is visibly trying not to smile. Honeymoon, I'm gonna take away your inspiration from last session. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. audibly groan. Um, Do I have to? Get no, rid no, of I'm it? kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Honeymoon laughs. 
But yeah, we're we're looking down yeah. there, I guess. Is there anything in the well? You uh, look down, and it doesn't take long before the sunlight catches a muddy uh, kind of bottom of the well. Mm. That's not too far down, actually. It, like a short climb could reach the bottom. It doesn't seem like this thing has been in service in just like the 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 village years, decades even. Whatever it maintenance that m should have been done on this was stopped decades ago. To Beth, you wanted to do something. Yes, uh, I oh, wanted sorry. to explore this little house here. Uh, no, you, you guys are good. Y'all are y'all. We're going to the well. Same for Lato here. You look through, and similar to what Honeymoon kind of just looked at at a glance, this place looks old and worn out. However, the architecture very familiar to you. Something made for humanoids such as yourself of kind of medium size. The height seems like it could accommodate most of you. Mm. Uh, it seems like a living quarters of some kind. Same is there any signs of like personal belongings or anything like that? You can give me an investigation score if you so wish. Score. Okay. Uh I have um plus 1 to my investigation. <laughs> plus 1 to investigation. Uh pushing over some of the debris and such and looking around, uh you do s seem to find very very old furniture, very old weaponry. Again, like humanoids from your world would use, some rusted old swords of which the metal has been tinged and rusted and, you know, the handle of which where leather straps would be have long since decayed. Uh, seems perhaps an adventurer lived here. Uh, Tabeth is going to make her way back outside. Lotilla, same thing. Uh, the building you found... Uh, Seems to be living quarters of some kind as well. Very humble, perhaps, of someone who maybe didn't need all that much. Very minimal with the amount of items in here. Just like a living room and a washroom. Well, this at least seems like a stable enough piece of ground for us to regroup and think about what our, our next plans are. Indeed. Uh, yeah, Honeymoon looks to, to Sharn uh, just to kind of see what her thoughts are so far. She looks around, and she just kind of catching her breath. I don't like the look of this place, but I don't really care anymore. I just want to grab the treasure and get out of here. I'm not leaving empty-handed. Uh, agreed. And uh, the Theodore just goes, uh, I'd be okay with leaving empty-handed if it keeps me alive. <laughs> it meant I was stayed handed. Let's see. Let's you keep your hands. Yeah, that, that would also he's be already, hand he's, handy. He's not doing so great in that regard already. <laughs> What's another one? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh. As you guys head to what looks to be the square of this area, you hear a voice Good. that is unfamiliar to you speaking in common. Uh. Mm. You are not worthy. A the, uh, although the voice is unfamiliar, the phrase itself is. We... It wasn't the... Uh... The big statue? Didn't know the Kraken said that, didn't it? The Kraken Oh, yeah! Did. Oh. By what means are we not worthy? By the means that I can see within your hearts. And in the middle of the square, as you guys start to approach, you see what looks to be kind of dirt and dust kicking up from below, kind of druidic magic of some kind. And in its place stands a humanoid that looks to be an owlin of a tall stature cloaked in earthly toned rags and wielding a wooden staff of some sort. And their face seems to be still like a statue and i think i have a portrait for this yes i do but i will not show it yet oh, okay. oh. damn <laughs> teasing us uh yeah honeymoon kind of squints at it uh and says and who exactly are you the owlin like almost lifts itself a few inches taller I am that which bore strength against your ship. I am that which tests your metal in the decrepit stone structure. I am that which watches you as damage to the island is irreparable. And it pulls down its hood ever so slightly. I am the guardian. Oh. Oh, wow. You have come Ooh. with that dragonborn captain. I have watched you. I can see into your hearts, and they are as impure as his. I cannot allow you to go any further. Fizz uh, kind of scoffs at this. Yeah, Honeymoon just kind of purses her lips. 
So you sent an entire kraken after us? The, Seems a bit overkill. The owl looks down. Anything for the protection of the island. Uh, Tibeth nervously looks at the other three, knowing that this man has the capability of just summoning whatever, you know, gigantic beast that he can at a moment's notice. <laughs> yeah. uh, and goes, well, uh, you see our captain's that way, and uh, we would like to at least retrieve him before we start making our way out. The owl squints a bit. And do you expect me to trust you? Yes. Great. Flawless argument. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not proven ourselves beneficial to the ecology here? Did you not see what happened with uh, Bartholomew? And did you not see that whole thing where Tibet made us stay and rescue the residents of this fucking island? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the island... <laughs> Tibet kind of winces a little bit at that, yeah. but she's like, fair. <laughs> the Guardian tilts their head a little bit and um, stares through you, Honeymoon. You think me so foolish as to not understand your intentions. I've been on this island long, long before your ancestors even crawled out of the mud. You're just going to take that? <laughs> Honey Honeymoon. is like she's Honeymoon. gassing you up. He's like, no, Honeymoon. Fight, Honeymoon. Let's go. Honeymoon bristles and does step on Phaedra's foot with her heel before she <laughs> turns it back to the guardian. Um, and she says, um, she. Oh. Oh, this guy oh, could have actually oh. have killed some of her ancestors. <sighs> Honeymoon. Uh, after you know, bristling, she'll kind of sashay up a little bit, kind of put a hand on her hip, uh, and just kind of giving him a very, just, just a, just a, a subtle glare. Um, she goes, you know, <laughs> if I had a gold for every nasty old codger who stood in my way, I'd be a millionaire. Hazel's kind of, uh, glances. <laughs> 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 Phasis alone would give you uh, quite a few yeah. thousands, at least. Yeah, and Honeymoon will say, "Ah, shit." That's okay. You don't. You don't. You don't have to have. Uh, that was a good enough line. I want. Yeah. I want her to have dialogue. Though. In response, the guardian um. just. Uh, the guardian looks down in disappointment. Always about riches. I am wise to you, outsiders. The inner seas are full of greed and dishonor. Those who do not have a shred of goodwill. And the creator, what makes the book that keeps your captain alive and safe, was too naive to see this. I am not so foolish. So the captain is alive? Yes. Even now, oh he plunders the heart of the island. You can hear so, a little rumbling. Yeah. And Honeymoon, at, at the rumbling, raises her eyebrows and says, Oh, so... Instead of dealing with the guy who's actively plundering your precious island, you're here harassing us. He looks down uh, a bit in sadness. The book he holds wards against me, as well as any dangers the island may inflict upon him. It was a safeguard created by my master, he who also created this island, so that those who come to pay tribute would face no obstacles in doing so. And that was a creation reliant on the benevolence and secrecy of outsiders that I spoke out against during the island's conception, and of which I've never dreaded being more right. I may not be able to stop this Rackmorn, but there is only so much harm he by himself can do. You may be telling the truth, but the risk of you lying is too great. There is only so much damage to the K one man can do. If I allow anyone else to do as he does, it will risk completely destroying it, and I will not allow this. I need you to look me in what you, what eye you still have. <laughs> Good start. Look in what you see in my heart, and the only thing it's going to tell you is I'm getting the captain. That's all I want. It looks to you, Lotilla, and it shakes its head. I need not look into your heart, Yuan-Ti. I see it. Unfortunately, I still cannot allow you to go either. You are not the threat to this island. Well. <laughs> Phasos kind of looks at, 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 at him. He, he, he stares him kind of up and down. Get out of my way, old man. Honeymoon suppresses a, a snort. 
And he's going to just start, uh, you know, walking up or yep. start going. And you can see Sharn also looks equally annoyed. And she speaks up. I don't care if I'm worthy or not. I ain't leaving this island without a nick of coin. And you can see that Theodore looks very uncomfortable with the energy we produced in the in the uh, in the island today. <laughs> in the <chat> today. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tabeth looks back to Theo, and uh, looks forward also to Latilla, and is like, "Well, I'm perfectly comfortable with not leaving with anybody. Uh, or sorry, not anybody, anything. Oh. Uh, but I would very much appreciate getting our captain back so we can at least leave in one piece." Yeah, no, and then she's going to get up next to Latilla. Latilla and Tabeth, both of you give me a persuasion check. Don't even bother with me in Phasos. No, <laughs> not even going to bother with you in Phasos. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, nope. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oof. Phasos, as you, chat. as you start to walk up, the Guardian kind of holds their staff outwards horizontally to bar your way and looks to Lotilla and to Beth. I am sorry. What does inspiration do again? You can reroll a d20 die. Can I do yeah. that? You may. Can I do <laughs> that? <laughs> I, I yeah, can't do worse than a one. Right, <laughs> that's right. true. Yeah. Maybe that's well. another one, though. <laughs> Let's well, see. Well, then I didn't do worse. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. Uh, persuasion. Just don't do a one, please. Bingity bongity. Bingity bongity. Yes! Hey. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. <laughs> The Guardian, still holding the she staff... She steps forward again for the second wind. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian holds the staff still and closing its eyes, looking down. Not only will the destruction of this island be shame on me, it will be shame on you. For you may live, but I worry if your soul will come out in one piece. Be gone with you. And a bunch of dirt and dust rises up, consuming the owlin before it vanishes from sight. Oh. Bezos looks over at uh, Lotilla. Good job. <laughs> You've been really bad. Just looking at the spot where he used to be, and now there's just ground. Yep. <laughs> well. That was a good inspiration. Yeah, that was that was a yeah, good time. That was hard. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Honeymoon, still kind of f just frowning in annoyance, like, well, I hope they don't come back to to haunt us farther into the island. We don't all have the book that the captain does. But if we get to the captain, we'll be close enough to perhaps that protection will extend to us. Yes, and then quieter she says, or, uh, or he will no longer have the book. With a with a meaningful <laughs> kind of like raising of the eyebrows at Phasos. Mm -hmm. And Phasos acknowledges this with a small smirk. Mm -hmm. um. <sighs> so yeah, Honeymoon looks at her at her two gals at Sharn and Theodore and says, "Well, I suppose we had best be off." Yes. I I don't want to stand around yeah. waiting to find out what happens to the island. What the captain steals all the treasure, and Sharn starts to walk up, but Theodore stays where he is a little bit mm -hmm. and kind of twiddles his fingers. You know, I don't know about this. About what? I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone about the island. I'm sure you guys aren't going to tell anyone about the island, right? But uh, other people are going to be looking for it. What if we leave this place and we become targets, you know? And, and uh, people start hunting us down and, and uh, try and wring information out of us and stuff. Uh, I don't know that I want that kind of attention. Maybe... Are you saying you want to stay? You're more uh, than welcome to stay on the island. He shrugs his shoulders. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I've got folk back home, but uh, maybe that guy was right. Maybe we shouldn't leave. And maybe the world is better off not knowing about this place. Well, they do already kind of know about it, though, is the thing. Whether we get off this island or not, people s will still know about it. And say that we don't go after Rackmorn and, uh, you know, we decide to stay here and Rackmorn leaves... Uh, successfully having brought the riches back does that not mean that he then is the forebearer of all of this he kind of rubs the back of his neck i guess maybe 
this is all don't sit too right with me, is all. I'm just kind of a little spooked. Regardless of if we stay or not, we have to stop the captain before the island gets rent in two. He slumps down. <laughs> and comes along with the group. That is a good boy. Oh! Oh. You're gonna awaken <laughs> something in him? I'm so Don't. sorry. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> My goodness. So you guys gonna continue to head towards the mouth of the volcano then? At the foot of the yeah, volcano, honey, not the actual yeah, opening at the top. Yeah. If possible, I would like Hanumin to do one last just sweep mm -hmm. of the area. See if she catches any lingering signs of a the guardian maybe lurking around or some other thing. You sweep through and it seems as though... As far as you can tell, you are left alone, but sweeping through and looking throughout, you can see that there are some recent usage of tools, uh, just like how you notice there was some recent usage of kind of the wood and, and resources and materials around kind of recent damage. You also see nails, hammers, and the like that are not rusted over. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, can... the Phoebe boy could make a little life for himself here if he wanted. Honeymoon files that away. Files that away of, I'm not responsible if this man dies while he's alone on the yeah. island. Honeymoon files that away into, I'm not fucking staying here, so who cares? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, as far as you can tell, no physical sign of the guardian remains. Okay. All right. Yeah, just wanted to do a last little uh, look-see. Mm -hmm. So yep, that's the, you yep. all head up slightly north. Just a little bit towards this hill that as the terrain starts to get steeper and steeper, as you get closer to the foot of the mountain, what lies the volcano that spews golden smokestacks. And then you see it, the entrance. Ooh. You can see a deep, dark tunnel, and at the end of it, a dim gold glow. Hmm. Well, that looks promising. Indeed. I feel like we're finally making it somewhere on this journey. <sighs> Sharn kind of cracks her neck a little bit, and it's about damn time. Oh, yes. Are we all prepared to head in, then? I suppose this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Honeymoon checks her nails and her shoes arbitrarily for dirt and says, as good as I'll ever be. Theodore pipes up. Oh. I'm not, but... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. <laughs> That's the spirit. I mean, It'll be the, fine. There's a lot I mean, of us here. Yeah, and I mean, Theodore, if you don't want to go inside, you can stay out here. Uh, he doesn't also have a true. response to that. So you guys head inside. Yeah. Here we go. Onwards. And Woo. you may oh. scroll to the bottom. So, welcome to the cave entrance into the Golden K's volcano. Hey, it's one of those little chicken guys. And the gargoyles. Yeah, it's <laughs> that tots. And then gargoyles, uh-oh. Ah, yes, well, I... we're a little more genre savvy now. You guys are in the cave. Ooh, let me turn it up, it's quiet. And you can see that the place is dimly lit by kind of cracks in the ground uh, where you can see molten volcanic light from the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's dark and dingy to the point where uh, those without dark vision, although you'll be able to navigate just fine for ease of exploration on a meta level, in combat, uh, who doesn't have dark vision actually? Let me ask that first. Ah! I don't think I have dark vision. Oh, no. Is Phazos uh, the only one without dark vision? Let me I make sure. So. Um, I'm checking. I don't think I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You're Genasi. Well, you might. No, five Genasi do, because I remember you see things in like shades of red when it's dark. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that unfortunately it's... means that Phazos, you, you can navigate <laughs> just fine, but your attacks will be at disadvantage unless you can find a way to produce light of some kind. That's fine. Yep. The cave. It's dark in here. Yep. The cave echoes with cries of lost creatures and crackles of tumbling rocks. The entire island rumbles as more and more pieces of the cave fall into the watery ob oblivion below. 
Um, can we see which way the gargoyles are looking? Yes. You see that they seem to be looking directly at you, following oh, your Jesus movements God. like sentries. All right. Oh, no. Hmm. Don't well, suppose that the guardian's still watching us, huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, one way to find out. Actually, someone else. Okay. So Honeyman starts to go into this action. <laughs> somebody else go first. Um, uh, also, I wanted to to, to mention. I'm fragile. Uh, Bezos, <laughs> Bezos does have in his equipment um, a hooded lantern. Ooh, oh, okay. So... Yeah. Okay. Right. That that'll be a thing. That'll be in your offhand, I presume. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's kind of a delightful idea, Phasos, with a lantern just. It there you go. So uh, it will mean that your yes. offhand will be taken up, so you can't make offhand attacks. Sorry, just a, I'm just imagining. Imagine you're in a dark cave. You see the uh, the lantern glow, and then out of the darkness, you see Jeffrey fucking Bezos <laughs> holding a hooded lantern, oh my like God. low light, like dark shadows. Just that imagine, it, and that's hilarious. what's happening. That's what's happening right now. Oh, good. That's uh, true. Right. It's about to give me a TED talk on what's cool and what's not. <laughs> As preparation. Attila does bring out a shield, and I'd like to inspect this line here. Okay, you inspect the crack, uh, the molten crack, where you can see some heat rising up from. Stepping on the kind of around it does not seem to be all that too much. Uh, it, However, it does feel a little bit uncomfortable in its heat. And you learn that if you, during combat, if you end your turn standing on any of these glowing orange spots, you will take fire damage. You will take 1d6 oh. fire tra fire damage. Gotcha. So so okay. long, so yeah. it is safe to move Weak. over so long as you don't <laughs> stand on it. That's a little really like, she, she don't did. stand on these for too long. Just very well. And she will slide on over. When you slide on over, immediately, ah. the gargoyles start to attack. Ah. Oh. Roll okay. for initiative. Wait. What? Huh? Oh, click self. Oh, you tied for 14. No. Okay, there you go. My dex is plus five, so I think I'm yeah. going to get it. I, I, I will let you go first, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be rolling bad. for the NPCs as well. Yes. That is awful. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just put NPC turn on the initiative order. And oh, no, they actually rolled a one. <laughs> Oh, oh no! So funny. Oh. So, uh, yeah. First up is Phasos. Uh, I, 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 I gave Tibeth first. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. First up is Tibeth. Alrighty. Um, well, I guess she's gonna, um, yeah, she's gonna saunter up to, to Latilla here. And she's gonna go ahead and take a whack at, um, Demon Boy here mm -hmm. with her, uh, rope dart. Bingity which bongity. has... 10 foot range, I think. So I should be able to hit him from here. Okay, okay. I think you might have scoot in one more. Okay, I will scoot yep. one yes. more. Yes. There you go. Bing bong. That's damage. Yep, it pings right off the stone skin of the gargoyle. Oh, oh wait, no, no that, that's no, damage. I, yeah, that was damage. damage. You rolled oh. damage, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, nope, that'll do it. Okay, yes. It punctures into the <laughs> stony skin of the gargoyle. Oh yeah, and then it'll just, uh, I'll just take the, the buff as the damage for it. Mm -hmm. the yeah, six, the six. If that's okay. For sure. Phasos, your turn. All right, Phasos is going to, let's see, how far can I get? Okay, there we Thank go. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so that, he's within 30 feet of me. So uh, Phasos is going to uh, purposely walk forward with his uh, hooded lamp to uh, get to this <laughs> point, which is 30 feet of movement, mm -hmm. and he's going to deck this gargoyle in the face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Deck the gargoyle in the face. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of my rages for this combat just because why not? Let's start it off with a rage, um, which I, uh, do I? Here, I'll put that in there so that it's there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to punch. Um, that. Punch. And then it gets. Let me see. Okay, so it's it's not attack. So I just did the 12. Okay. To, to Unfortunately, to you go to punch and you feel a little bit of a crack, but you don't make headway with your fist. It oh, wow. stings a bit. Okay. That's uh that is all I can do. Lotilla. So. Yes. All right. Uh, I might need to move to Beth. Uh, uh oh. 
You just pick her up and just shove her aside. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can move. Why, why would you need to move her? Yeah. I'm about to get big. Oh. I mean, won't that just automatically move me? Would it just shift the path sideways? <laughs> or you could come over here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> come over here. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> and then she's going to be giant. Good. May big, I see big, the feature? Big. There we go. Thank you. Giant's might. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's right. Because I forget All that right. you can do this. It's I like it a lot. It's a very fun class. Mm -hmm. Subclass. <laughs> All right. You get large. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Uh, on strength, 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 and that is a bonus strength. action. Yep. Yes. Do you and do anything with going, your action? She's going to try to hit this, pull out her trident, and try to hit him twice. Okay. Oh, very nice. Yep, that first one will hit. I don't think the second one gets. <laughs> no, the second one will not. Show me the damage for the first one. One momento. There we go. Yes, okay, you stab into it, and a large chunk of stone just breaks off of this gargoyle <laughs> to the point where you can see that you've broken one of its arms off, that it was oh, getting ready to launch some kind of projectile towards you. Mm -hmm. She flicks her tongue out at it. <laughs> And that will be her turn. All right. Honeymoon. All right. I'll, I'll scoot forward just a little bit. Uh, and then since, uh, yeah, Tibeth and Lotilla have that one handled. Honeymoon uh, holds out her hand in like a, a bright, like white gold flame kind of dances on her fingertips. And she's going to produce flame at uh, uh, this, this yawn gargoyle. Mm-hmm. And produce flame. Bing bong. <laughs> Ooh, that will hit. However, when you throw this fire, it kind of like poof, almost puffs off of the gargoyle. It does make a little bit. Uh, ah, chip, shit, it's resistant. Chip a few. Yes, I was. Yeah, it chips a few pieces of stone off, but uh, does not seem to do as much damage as you thought. The storm gar looks gargoyles annoyed. are resistant to fire damage. Uh -huh. Yeah, Honeymoon just... Dang it, I knew that. <laughs> next. Well, yeah, I think that's uh, not really much else I want to do with my bonus action. All right, next are the NPC's turns, and I'm going to start with the gargoyles. The gargoyles are going to, uh, this one is going to throw a flurry of stone darts in a line. Oh. Then I'm going to need Phasos and Honeymoon and huh? Sharn to make dexterity saving throws. No, don't do this to me. I can do that. Nice. Ooh, very nice. Thank you. Oh, no! Ah! Ooh. Less nice. Ooh, not very nice. <laughs> very not nice. Okay, so, Honeymoon, you're going to take 12 mm. <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Uh, Phasos, you're just going to take 6. And Sharn is also going to take 6. 45 minus 12 is 33. God damn it. This one instead <laughs> is going to take lift one of its fists to slam the ground for an ability that is going to lower the DC in order to beat it because it doesn't have its other arm. So Lotilla and Tibeth, you're both going to have to make constitution saving throws. Oh, hell yeah. I can do that. Maybe. Mm. As it slams its fist into the ground and makes a loud booming noise from itself, almost like using itself as a bell. Uh, you both take a whopping four thunder damage. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh my. And you can see right. this wretch over here seems to be panicking a little bit and <laughs> running against oh, what looks to be a bunch of boulders blocking its way, scratching at it. <laughs> Sharn is going to pull out one of her pistols and going to fire at this gargoyle. Uh, it goes wide, a shot and a miss. Ah, uh, a fight. And <laughs> Theodore is going to stand in panic. Oh, okay. To Beth, your turn. All right. Well, now I'm going to get into, or actually. Now that Lotilla's in range of him, does that mean I get sneak attack, or do I have to get yeah. in range? Yep, of him? it means you have sneak attack now. 
Hell yeah. All right. Well, then I'm just going to keep my distance and then I'm going to use my, my little rope dart again to take another swing at him. Ooh, very oh. nice. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. Oh. You take, you kind of pull out your rope dart that was embedded in it and throw it again, almost like in an arcing motion that slices off its head and it falls to the floor <laughs> and it just crumbles oh, yeah. to pieces. Very nice. Good. Well. That was some good teamwork there, Lotilla. You get a thumbs up. Did she say that or did she just like. No, thumbs sorry. Okay. <laughs> Heather says this, but you actually yeah, okay. get a very large thumbs up. <laughs> Alrighty, and that'll be my turn. Phasos. Alright. Uh, Phasos uh, continues to be uh, angry um, mm -hmm. and is to take going damage. to um, punch again. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, Show me the punch go. again. Hey! Very fist, nice. Uh, you know, the tattoo ink covers it to make it a bit of a, of a, a heavy punch as he comes through. Boom. That's Very cool. nice. Only six bludgeoning. Yeah. Uh, but rage <laughs> damage as well. How much is rage damage? Right oh, now? rage damage. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Let me put that on. It is... Plus two. Two. Okay, so eight. You punch it and pff, you kind of like make a big old dent as a few pieces of rubble crumble from the gargoyle. Good job. Um, I just have a, a, a quick thing. Uh, was the damage I got uh, earlier uh, bludgeoning, piercing, oh, or slashing? It was bludgeoning, so you would have taken half. That's right. You were you were okay. raging, so yeah, because yep. you're resistant. Yeah. Sick. So yeah, you would have taken okay. only there three. Yeah. All right, that's it. Law Tilla, your turn. Gonna make my way over here. Yep, and uh, <laughs> yep, this boy oh. is cornered. I I if I hit an uh, a creature with an unarmed strike. I can use my bonus action to grapple them uh, ah. due to my tavern brawler action. It's a, it's a statue. Yeah, I can <laughs> grab a statue. Grab yeah. the statue. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to take some stabs with my trident. Take some stabs with your trident. Yep. Ooh. Very nice. Right. Damn. That's a good. The second go. one will not hit, one. but yeah. just the one. So let me sh let's see yep. the one. All right. Mm, very nice. Can you I take another stab, and this thing is falling apart. Uh, that'll be your turn. Very nice. Honeymoon. Honeymoon's gonna scoot over this way. Uh, a little, a little, a little roughed up. Uh, from fucking twelve damage. Uh, I was gonna say you only took twelve damage, girl. My hit points is forty-five. <laughs> that was a quarter you of can her walk HP. Walk that off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, I can't. If you die, walk it off. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, honeymoon. Um, yeah. Maneuvers over that way. Hops over the the uh, the magma lines. Uh, points her points two fingers at the, the remaining gargoyle and says, "That was rude as hell." And she's gonna guiding bolt it. All right. Show me the guiding bolt. I've been ignoring Ooh, my extra d6 yeah. damage. <laughs> Oh, yes, you guiding bolt and it blasts a hole through right through like the shoulder and chest area of the carvings of this gargoyle. Just poof, and it crumbles to pieces. Okay. Done. All done. Thank you. Yay. All right. And combat is over, seeing as the wretch does not seem like it wants to fight. On the contrary, it looks terrified and also desperate as it's clawing <laughs> against these boulders over here. And a giant gonna... snurse and slowly blocks its path. <laughs> Let me just, it's, I'm gonna try this in abyssal. It's just, please move. It uh, kind of backs away and kind of almost hissing, trying to make itself look big. <laughs> Compared to Lotilla right mm -hmm. now. Compared to Lotilla. <laughs> it is very clearly scared and shaken, but it's trying to put itself kind of mm -hmm. a face. But yes, you can see there. Go for the rocks. Go for the rocks. You're gonna lift it. Uh, before you do, as you do, uh, Honeymoon uh, gives you a, a gentle slap on the ass and uh, says, "Good luck!" And cast guidance. I don't have one. <laughs> I was gonna say she's a snurser. Yes. There's a uh, I, snass. 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 approximation. Close enough. But I cast guidance. Uh, I give you a little flirty smack. That. And, uh, Thank you. Give you guidance. All right. Do you want me to roll? Yes, athletics with advantage, and you may use the gui and you may add the guidance as well. I have a, yes. uh, gives me three. I have advantage from strength automatically. So yes, that's I'm big. that's what I mean. Yeah, you get okay, advantage you from just... your bigness. Nice, nice. Uh, um, this so cat is thick. making noises. It was Asher. Very good. I want to see. Okay. 
Yeah. You, you roll, may really roll the d4 rather. Uh, mention okay. that uh, Phasos is still raging for like the next minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that means that he is aggressively so power walking. Power walking. <laughs> his rage. Come on, Jeffrey. Do it. So it's a twenty, a dirty. Okay, 20. a dirty twenty. <laughs> you lift it up, and it's a little unwieldy, but uh, luckily you kind of pulled it well enough that you are able to maneuver yourself so that it doesn't fall on anybody while the rumbling of the island kind of tests your balance and strength with these. But you're able to unblock the way leading to the next room. Oh, nice. And as Ooh. you do, immediately the wretch starts to bolt it for the other side of the room. <laughs> There's more rocks. <laughs> oh, no. poor dude. Over there. Okay. Next to those barrels. Right. And you More also gargoyles. see that there is a pile of treasure, various coins from the ages. You can see, even just from a glance, that there are some very old minted pieces in there from ages long past, but can still probably be worth their uh, weight in gold, if not more. Question is, do we have room to... Anybody gets past me, she's just going to say, I'm willing to bet that that's cursed. Please file it in an orderly manner to the rocks. <laughs> Are these gargoyles immediately hostile? No, they don't appear so. However, all, every single one of them seems to be staring directly at the gold. Okay. I have a limited window of time where I am large, mm -hmm. so I am moving. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh oh. Excuse me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you try to, to shove that one around. Snake your yeah. way through. I can give you another guidance if you want. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. It, it, if it yeah. come Honey help. Moon. Yeah, I'll say it hasn't been a minute. I, I'd say you guys are moving hastily enough. You don't have to worry about, like, reapplying okay. buffs. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Honeymoon gives you another guidance cantrip. <laughs> so. And, and I can only do it on yeah, one you want to help? this time. I would like to help. Okay. This time. So, Lotilla and Phasos. Lotilla will be rolling at advantage. Um, I will also be rolling at advantage. Oh, that's right, because you're raging. Gotta love being a barbarian. Mm -hmm. Both of you roll at advantage. Uh, okay. Athletics. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. You guys almost make it a competition that, like, <laughs> Phasos holds his own fairly well and is able to pick up, like, boulders of a competing size to the ones Lotilla is at her size. And you guys, like, kind of toss it aside, avoiding the gargoyles, of course, very handily, um, throwing them against the wall and stuff. And the wretch does not seem to be bolting it that way. And you oh. reveal the next room. Oh. Before before oh, we move wow. on, you get like this very excited uh, gust of air as Latilla goes to give you a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Faceless is surprised and uh, accepts it. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Sharn looks impressed <laughs> at uh, the both of you and just goes, remind me never to bet against either of you in an arm wrestling match. <laughs> um... What if it's those two against each other? Oh, then I just, I just think it's a nice show. Well, hey. <laughs> all right. To Beth? Uh, I was going to say, um, can I take a, a quick look at these barrels that are here? Yep. Because they don't seem to be attracted to the gargoyles either. You peek a look inside, and you can see that there are various kind of foodstuffs that seem to be preserved with a magical sigil over them. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, she's going to make a mental note of that and keep on going with the rest of the crew. I'm gonna just oh, didn't mean to grab you. How's, uh, how, how does this room look? What, what are we looking at? So you head into that room and you can see that there are various uh, piles of gold, various more uh, barrels, various more gargoyles, and also a few of the strange creatures that you saw outside. You can see that they seem almost as if they're trying to reach each other, but are struggling to pass something. Like they seem to be kind of like restlessly hopping back and forth in their spot, looking at each other, waving. I'd oh. like to reach for this one. This one? Okay. Yeah. And uh, it sees your hand and it kind of does a little knock against its masky face, unsure as to what the gesture means. Uh, Abyssal, grab on. It holds on. And she lifts. Mm hmm. And you have it in your hand. You have lifted the thing. And as you start to head that way, it immediately hops off and stands oh. back in its spot. 
no. kind of like in a panicked motion and kind of pointing yeah. frantically in that direction. To this guy? Just in that general direction. Gotcha. Okay. Mm. Uh, I have a quick question, Joseph. So this is where people would leave tribute if they were doing that? I don't know. Like you... I'm... Okay. Based <laughs> on context clues. Based on context clues, probably not. Okay, then I'll hang on to the hat. <laughs> Good thinking. Yes. Bezos is seeing all this treasure, um, and he, he's, he's uh, kind of speaking to himself. There's going to be more later. It's fine. <laughs> Walking now. himself through it. <laughs> yeah. Honeymoon oh, is... <laughs> Honeymoon's keeping a poker face, but her fingers are, are twitching a lot. <laughs> make my way over to the other guy so when you make your way over there right there gotcha. you slither over and too late for you to notice you see a magical sigil right underneath you that explodes ah. and i'm gonna need you to make a oh wisdom god. a wisdom saving throw and everyone's gonna roll initiative Ooh, oh, oh god i don't have that. any of that <laughs> <laughs> wisdom no none Incredible. I Just like my me. Matt twenty on an ignition. Well, roll. that's okay. All right. It's not a waste. I get to go first. Yeah. Unless someone else rolls a. a also, Tabeth, I know game. you were waiting. It seemed like you were like waiting back there for everyone to be finished. So if you want to position yourself a little bit closer, you can. Before. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. Starts. I'm gonna be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll move the NPCs aside. Get in the wall, Theo. <laughs> get in the wall. Uh. Okay. Lotilla, may you roll again? Uh, because I guess the game hates you and didn't want to put you on initiative order. Oh, I didn't think I was on initiative. I thought the wisdom save was something else towards that. Nope. Okay. Uh, you're going to roll initiative as well. Okay. And it does still hate me, but... It really. does. And as the blast surges, uh, your wisdom save did not make it, so you're going to take the full damage. So. A blast of ringing kind of visions and flashing visions in front in your mind as you are shown the horrors and just like destruction that has seen through the history of this island fill your brain more than you can handle, and you take 20 psychic damage. Good lord. Holy shit! Jesus. Yeah. Okay. And you can see that uh, now that you've done so, it seems as though the panicking from the kind of little creature seems to subside ever so slightly. Nice job. You triggered the trap for them. <laughs> Phasos, you're All right, up first. Uh, so did I notice a change in any of the uh, gargoyles or anything? Or did I just see an explosion happen on Lotilla? The gargoyles, just like the previous room, seem to be fixated on the gold. Okay, Phasos is going to get, let's see, uh, let me just make sure I can, yeah, I'm going to get right, right there. Mm -hmm. for, for 30 feet of movement, and as I'm getting close to this uh, dog girl, I'm going to check it out. Is it reacting to my presence at all? It doesn't seem so. It seems as though just as still as any old statue that so happened to be carved and situated in a way that it's looking at the gold in the center of the room. Okay. Can I... Hmm. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check on Lotilla. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. She did just explode in my eyes. <laughs> what just happened there exactly? Are you st still good? That hurt. <laughs> she, like, just kind of like sits back up because I, I just imagine like she kind of gets knocked flat backward mm -hmm. and so she sits back up and says I think the island's life just flashed before my eyes that was terrible oh there are, are sigils in the floor avoid those <laughs> okay uh Phasus is going to take that advice and uh, is going to try to suss out any more locations for sig <laughs> sigils on the floor hmm uh, perhaps, well, I don't know if that would be any kind of role. Maybe, uh, maybe Arcana, but I don't know that that's the same thing. Investigation? Perhaps, investigation. Yeah, actually, investigation, because you're looking for traps. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Um, do I have, actually, because I am a, a barbarian. Oh, I don't think I got, uh, I think it kicks in at level yet. two. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Um, I'm so I'm going to go ahead and make my investigation. 
Oof. Okay, looking around, you don't really know where another sigil might be, if there even is one. I can take yeah. care of that on my turn. Well, then I'm going to uh, make a reaction uh, to where if anything uh, seems to, um, you know, come towards me and any uh, any sort of enemy coming towards me, I'm going to punch it in the face. Okay. Um, Good action. <laughs> I'm going to say, for the sake of it, the minute has passed, so she's probably regular-sized again. Just because that makes uh, sense. Is that... is that... is that... Uh, is no. Is that would mean my rage no? is over? <laughs> no, I, w I wouldn't say the minute has passed. It's probably okay. close to passing, but you guys okay, are trying I'm to make good. your way through, so you're good. Okay. I... Uh, can I do an investigation just to see if there's... I can find anything next to the rocks, since I am a ruined person? Go ahead, investigate. I'd like to just check in front here yes you want to check in front for anything in particular or just like generally uh, sigils am i going to blow up if i continue forward mm -hmm. okay 11. looking about you can't really tell but you do draw upon the previous understanding that uh the strange mass creatures did seem to panic a lot more uh before you stepped on that sigil so they're think so could have been i got the biggest one <laughs> So she's just gonna step forward and hope for the best. Okay. Do I blow up? Uh, you do not blow up, you're fine. Yay! You're totally safe. Can I try lifting? I'm gonna say yes, but that's gonna take your action. That's fine. Give me There's athletics nothing... with advantage, and you There's and the- actively trying to kill me yet. All right, let's try some rolling. Okay, let's see the advantage, see if you crit, okay. You do it handily. You move a chunk of the boulders, though not all of them, aside. Mm -hmm. There's still a few more blocking the path. Can I move forward? Um, not enough to not be in the hot floor. Okay, then I will take a step back. Yep. And I will end there. Very, very, very good. Oh, I will have one last comment in case it didn't carry. Watch for the sigils on the floor to make sure everybody's got that oh. down. Yeah. So Why the NPC's turn. Uh, the little mast fellow, seeing that you blew up the sigil that way, is going to make its way over there and start running towards its friend. Over oh, there. Good. And I'm skittering okay. and scampering. And let's see. These two are going to try and look out for sigils. And uh, Sharn just kind of looks around. I don't know. They could be anywhere. And you can see that... Uh, Theodore finally uh, gaining the courage. I I think there might be one there, and he points, kind of in this direction. Yeah, if that's the roll around for the turn, Honeymoon has a little bit of snappy dialogue. <laughs> Sharn just looks at him and just like, "Are you sure?" And he goes, "No, <laughs> but that's where I would put it." Honeymoon, your turn. Honeymoon, as these two kind of go back and forth, she sighs. Sasha, oh, whoopsie, uh, Sasha's up past them and says, not to worry, I've got a handle on it. And she's going to cast a tech magic. Ah, oh, yeah. all right. If you sense magic in any way, you can use all right. faint aura. And I can aura. concentrate for up to 10 minutes, uh, up to 30 feet away. So I'm just going to carefully traipse about with my, you know, UV light, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you can tell that there is magic. I actually have an icon for this, I'm pretty sure. Whatever, I'm just going to draw it then if I can't find mm -hmm. the uh, asset. So you can tell that there is a sigil not where Theodore put, uh, pointed. There's one here, almost as sizable as Lotula's. Mm -hmm. And cool. yeah. there seems to be some kind of trigger. Let's see. You do feel as though there's an there is a enchantment right there, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Honeymoon will. I've got a a little bit more movement, so she'll. Oh, come on. Click on the right thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you can move I've closer. Got one, yeah. One, two, three, and kind of get over there. Not touching the gold. Mm -hmm. So yeah, out to thirty feet. And you can see one more enchantment, kind of underneath the boulders, right here. Oh. Ah, Honeymoon will immediately be like, uh, Lotilla, do be careful with the boulders. There's a sigil underneath there. I appreciate the warning, though. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's also one over here, and she points at the, the one down here. And she looks back at, at 
Theo and Sharn, mostly looking at Theo when she says, so don't step on it. He just uh, slumps his shoulders a little bit and looks down in defeat. Yeah, um, not really, can't do anything else. I don't have any spells that are a bonus action, so I think that's me. To Beth. Okay, well, so we only know about these two. Mm Mm-hmm. And there's no indication of any of them being over here, or is that just because of the range of the spell? Uh, well, yeah, my range is 30 feet, so I can get out to... So, yeah, she would back. know that all within 30 feet of her, that is what she sees in terms of magical stuff. Sick. Okay. Well, gargoyles aren't attacking us. There's only two sigils we have to worry about. So, Tibeth is just going to... Make her way closer to uh, Latilla here. Whoop! Very nice. And that is it. Would you like to prepare an action or anything to use on a reaction? Um, if the gargoyles um start attacking us, uh, she would like to prepare um a dodge action if that's possible. Yes. So their roll, if an attack roll against you, will be at disadvantage. Yes. Phasos. All right. Well, seeing as your uh, rage is unfortunately over, my rage is now over. Yes. Um, he his breathing kind of calms down. Uh, he he knows about these uh these these potential traps. Um, so let's see. Yeah, he can go here. He's gonna try to lift some rocks away from the trap and then. Uh, step back five feet so he's not on the fire. That is his current plan. Okay, you may do so. Okay, I'm going to do my athletics without advantage this time. 21. Oh, very, very nice. You move it out of the way and make sure that it doesn't land on anything. And as you do, the sigil goes away. Oh, oh sick. <sighs> well, in that case, I'm going to five foot upwards instead so i'm gonna let i'm gonna let you guys know how well you rolled for those athletics because i was gonna say that um anything lower than 20 you would have disturbed the gargoyles oh god you would have gotten the rocks out of the way but you would have disturbed the gargoyles but you did it with such ease and precision that like it's no trouble to move it to where it doesn't hit any of the gargoyles so well done Ooh, so much fun being a heavy. (laughs) Okay, so you guys clear the final boulder of this room, and you open the path to the entrance into the volcano. Oh, Oh. beautiful. Uh, And as you do, um, you can see that these two mass creatures are reunited, and they're getting the hecky out of here. As they should. Good, no more questions. Uh, <laughs> these two follow you along. All right, gonna make my way. Oh, hello. Ah, yeah. And I would say <laughs> about snushed. about now would be when your <laughs> thing goes away, Lotilla. Like it would be about a minute now. Makes sense to me. And as you guys head forwards, the rumbling and shaking of the entire island gets more and more drastic. And mm. as you head right there, I'm going to need everyone. Uh- to make a dexterity saving throw as you start to see a crack in the ground underneath the foot, your feet, the ground in which you stand starts to give way. Oh God. Oh my. Bye guys. Uh. Oh. Okay. This sucks. So let me roll for the two NPCs. (sighs) Okay. So here's what happens. Mm. Here's a sequence of events in which unfortunately are out of your control. Oh no. Oh no. As the crack underneath the ground kind of opens up, you all quickly leap ahead to safety as the ground is swallowed by a large hole. (gasps) Phazos, you are able to make it to the other side. To Beth, you are able to make it to the other side. Oh no. Honeymoon and Lotilla, Sharn and Theodore, you lose your footing and start to fall. Shit. However, ah! quickly, 
you hear some high-pitched sounds of squealing and skittering as you are caught <gasps> in a web. Ooh. Oh, oh, but Sharn though. Oh, okay. She's fine. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I forgot Everyone where I put the web. <laughs> and you hear echoing kind of from the shadowy abyss crawling out of the wall, digging itself out is a edder cap. There you are, friends. I had hoped to uh, help you along as the island seems to be breaking apart. Oh, I'm yes. so happy to see you. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, I've, st I've still got your hat. I'm waiting for the right time to drop it off. Oh, thank goodness. And as you, he is quickly trying to spin his own web and tightening it, unfortunately, <gasps> while rolling deck saves, Theodore had rolled in that one. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! As he struggles to try and hold on to the webs, they start to snap due to his struggling. Oh, he starts God. to fall and quickly leaping forward, the, Clyde jumps to the other side to spew a large glob of web against Theodore into the wall. And unfortunately, he is not able to get a grip on the walls with his claws. Oh. As he is struggling Clyde. to keep himself up and sliding down as the abyss starts to take him, you hear the echo of his voice. Please! Make sure my spiders are safe. Oh no. Oh. No, come on. Oh, shit. Clyde. Yeah, honey honeymoon does like swears out loud. That was too many failures and costed an important person their life. Yeah, honeymoon trying to orient herself in the web just kind of pinches the bridge of her nose and just goes oh, fuck. And you can see a few of the spiders that are staying at the sides, holding on to the webs and re-spewing, trying to keep it strong and steady for you guys, as oh, Sharn and Theodore quickly try to make their way over to the other side yeah, before it starts Honeyman's... to give way. Yeah, yeah the Beth is going to lower her dart and try to help people up. Honeymoon up. Oh, much obliged. And uh, as you go, the uh, it's just enough time before the webbing just kind of starts to fall apart from your weight. It was barely holding you up. He just kind of looks down into the abyss. He, uh, you know, puts a hand to his chin. Regrettable, but a good sacrifice. We should keep moving. You can see Theodore has hand-to-mouth speechless looking at you, and he almost looks like he wants to say something no longer scared, he narrows his eyebrows at you, Phazos. But he doesn't oh, say anything. Oh, God. Okay. Are any of the smaller spiders still on our side? They are. You can see that they line this wall now, kind of like skittered from the other side of the webs as it kind of starts to dissipate and be sucked in to kind of the, the air that is pulling downwards as the island is sinking in this crack. And they all just stare downwards into the abyss. Excuse me, honey. Oh! She is God. going to beckon to them to come to her. Oh. Mommy Lotilla. You see, yeah. give me an animal handling. Okay. Can I slap some guidance on her? <laughs> you may, if you if you wish. <laughs> honeymoon, honeymoon sees what's going. She did eavesdrop on the conversation about how she had kids. Uh, I get advantage of the 17 plus uh, the D4. Advantage? Where did the advantage come from? Uh, oh. One of my specials. One of my uh, runes gives it to me. Ah, okay. And, and I'll go ahead and roll a d4. May I see it? Hey, fuck. The thing? Yeah, the, the ability. Let me find it. <laughs> Click it. And I show. Awesome. That's it. Yeah, so your so check is an 18. And a lot of the spiders come and just kind of like seem to take comfort by your hand, uh, including the ones that are about as big as you. However, they do <laughs> seem to kind of go about their way as there's other business that needs to be doing, except for one that stays on your hand. It looks to be a tarantula. Oh, hello. And it stays in your hand and kind of curls up its uh, little legs to lay there. Oh. Hello. It 
so nice to meet you. Let's go. Man, this sucks. Yeah. Uh, like in like in a good narrative way, but also <laughs> yeah, in but still how a bummer way. How a bummer. As you guys head in. You are nearly blinded by a bright light of not only gold, but also walls that look like the sky. Ooh. Oh. As you head inside the volcano proper, and you see this. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, baby. That's a lot of gold. Inside the volcano, you can see that the walls seem as though they are projecting an image of the island outside of you to the point that, um, for convenience, uh, I would say that even if you did it later, um, Phazos, you would have a complete layout of the island from this. Yeah! <laughs> and you now Phazos have a high. full map of the Golden K. Woo! Ooh, there it I is. I like that jaggedy peak. Mm -hmm. You see some jaggedy peaks a little bit more to the north, as well as a swampy area, kind of even further north as well. Ooh. And as you head in, you can see that the entire place is shaking. Mounds and piles of gold line the place, as well as barrels, crates, vaults, weapons, crowns, gear all over. And kind of at the top of it all, a portal and your Captain Rackmorn standing as he is piling equipment and gold and riches into a makeshift boat that seems to be made of old rotting wood, as well as a few new pieces that seem as though they're in pristine shape. Wonder where he got that wood? Hmm. <laughs> are we free to move? Honey. You are free to move, and immediately Sharn sees him and calls him out. Captain! And the captain looks back to you. Hi, it's me, crew! You're alive! <laughs> he seems elated and throws his arms out and starts to walk towards you all. Bezos is, uh... Captain. Very much taking note of the treasure. <laughs> yeah, Honeymoon takes out Clyde's hat and is, a. Uh... Given the fact, Honeymoon may be a stone cold bitch, but she respects the sacrifice for her on her behalf, so she is looking for a proper place to put this hat down. Mm-hmm. Uh, can, may I roll perception to see if I find a place that looks suitably, like, important and cool? You may. And bingity bongity. Yes. So <laughs> you know the perfect place to put it, which is about up here, kind of okay. in on this pile mound of gold, kind Very of a good. centerpiece almost, as if it looks as though this is a centerpiece of the place, as this bears a striking resemblance to the constellation you saw in some oh. way. Oh. Yeah. Put a hat Ooh, on my constellation. Let me pull that thing up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Interesting. And as you lay the hat down, you can see on the projected image <laughs> on the walls of the volcano that a section of the island starts to rise up. Oh. Completely oh. barren and only full of sand, dirt, and coral, but a new piece of land nonetheless starts to fill one of the holes left. That was an impressive tribute. Huh. Yeah, Honeymoon. Yeah, she'll hold on to that. She's going to go keep eavesdropping. Well, not eavesdropping, just taking part in the conversation with mm -hmm. the captain, see what he does. If, on Lotilla's comment, uh, the captain speaks up. Hi, very nice. Makes me feel a little less bad about leaving this place in the condition it is. <laughs> Well, it seems like if you leave something of yours behind as tribute, some of it will reform itself. I does seem that way, but unfortunately, I've got too much important things to get to keep with myself, especially seeing as my ship has gone. And you can see on his back as well, he seems to have like tied around the only kind of piece that has survived the ship, which is the helm. He is now tied oh. kind of around his chest and back, sort of like a back piece with rope, <laughs> tied with rope. Mm. Where did you land? How did you survive? Uh, it was two, three days ago I woke up on the shore all by myself. 
I did see signs of other crewmen, but I don't think they survive the harsh wilderness. It seemed thanks to this book, he pulls out the same book that he had earlier, that it seemed, takes note of that. It seemed yep. a bit of the locals didn't want any quarry with me. And reading through it, I learned a bit more about this island. What with a guardian keeping protection over it, and all these magics keeping it alive, and more secrets I've yet to discover, but it seems as though it's missing some pages. I was scouring through this room for a bit, and perhaps some of those pages might be hidden within here. Whatever it is, I think it might fetch a pretty penny or even more. Whatever powers that are held within this secret magic, hidden away by this island, I hope to discover it. There won't be much of an island left to discover. He looks at you, Tibet. Aye, it's true, but listen. We came here for a specific quest, and I aim to fulfill it, and then some. There's an artifact hidden around here, an ancient relic of some kind of far-flung land, some kind of royal family's heirloom, a sword of some kind. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could help me find it and bring it back, eh? Well, I must say I'm very interested in this artifact myself. So, let's have a look-see, shall we? Aye, and feel free to take any bits that you can hold into your pockets, or any that'll fit onto the ship, what I've made put together with whatever scrap I can find. And he points to the boat that he has put together. It's got a rudder uh, to steer and a very humble mast and, and sail. Yeah, Honeymoon looks at it with a raised eyebrow and says, I hope this one will survive the journey better. <laughs> yeah, she's not trying to be mean, but like the last one, the last ship was way nicer and got torn the fuck apart. He, yeah, but he, it was also his baby. <laughs> he seems to give you a, a slight glance, Honeymoon, but doesn't say mm -hmm. anything. He continues to dig through pi uh, the piles of gold, pocketing every, uh, you know, every now and then a few handfuls and as you do you can see the island kind of being displayed around you rumbling as small pieces of it start to sink more and more and you can see that um sharn starts to do similar although without as much zeal and theodore once again looks very uncomfortable but this time kind of a little bit mad there's anger oh, yeah. in his eyes where there once were none Theo, I see. would you join me for a moment Without saying a word, just eyeing his his captain, walks to you with purpose in his Thank step. Uh, meanwhile, Honeymoon sashays over to Phazos, uh, basically to show him the star map, and she'll just kind of just just in passing, not to you know not to look suspicious, but say, "I'm going to check in these in the spots constellation marks for this artifact." I see. Perhaps I will uh, do the same at some different mm. point. Yes. Uh, and yeah, Honeymoon will... She's gonna start looking. Uh, she's gonna start at this top right corner. Okay. Uh, and Phasos? Phasos is going to go to... Um, if I'm reading the map correctly, is this this kind of area one of those uh, things? Or is it this one? I'm trying to, to kind of piece it together. Mm -hmm. Those uh, things. Yeah, he's gonna... Or in yourself... Yeah, where you think might be it's lo the location that you want to be okay. in. Trying to kind of orient it, that one. I'm going to say, let's go to this one. Okay. Honeyman will be here. And while you guys are searching, Lotilla uh, and Tabeth, what is the conversation you are having along with Theodore? If those pages are in here, I'd like to find them. I want to find out what the rest of the book says. I would too, but I also don't want to risk that causing more of the island to fall apart. Yeah. I think it's only falling actively apart when people are shoving gold directly into their pockets. Theodore kind of looks to you. Yeah, I, I don't know about you, and I wouldn't say nothing bad about the captain, but I don't know that I can stand by this. I, Me neither. He really needs to, at least, island. he needs to depart with one of his belongings, I would imagine, whether it be the book or the mast. One of them has to stay. Theo nods. We might be able to at least help if anybody, if either of you are willing to give up something. Oh, I don't have much on me. Anything important to me was washed away when we were taken to the maelstrom. 
Give up the rest of your fingers. <laughs> I was about to say, his hands are... I don't know. That's his fingers kind of probably important. doubled in value since you lost some. The yep. island already took tribute, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just see if you can't find the pages. So, Lotilla and Tabeth, do you wish to look through the pages? For, for the pages as well? Uh, I know Latilla would go start seeking for the pages, and I don't know about Theo, uh, if he's going to be able to. Um, <laughs> but uh, Tabeth is going to do something else. Uh, intriguing. She's going to go uh, and look for a nice spot to rest something. Okay. Uh, where seems to be the most, like, from the, the, the map that we can see, where seems to be the most damaged part of the island? Um, on the map, let me pull up the map. It seems to be bits and pieces that someone with that phobia of holes would uh, definitely run away <laughs> from. Tryptophobia? Yeah, tryptophobia. Yeah. It yeah. looks like a tryptophobia's nightmare. Hmm. Well, then she is going to go approximately where she can gather um, uh, the Edderback, uh, Edercap's um, home was. Uh, and she's going to deposit something there, which I imagine mm -hmm. would be somewhere around this section-ish. What do you wish to put down? Um, she is going to pull out um, a necklace that she's been holding onto for a while. Uh, it is the last remnant she has of her mother uh, as she was a jewelry maker in the port. Uh, and it's been with her on all of her travels across the seas far away from home. Um, and she's going to go probably, I guess it would be in that vault there would be the closest to that forest on the east side. Mm -hmm. So she's going to go over to Phasos, unfortunately. I don't think we ever went to We that. didn't go on the east. We went to the no, west we, we, by the we've river. We've been west. I thought yeah. I thought his I thought his family stuff was on the east side. Uh, no, of the dungeon, but not far east. Like, yeah, it was still in like oh, the okay. jungle yeah. in the middle bottom. Okay, okay, then I'll I'll go down here. By yeah, the yeah. So you you place the trinket down, and you can see kind of in that area where there were holes rises a mountain that brings, kind of pushes out a lot of the water, and you can see some birds kind of flock away from the ensuing land now being built. Wherever you are, I hope, uh, I hope you can feel the presence that's in, in love that you're providing to this island. You serve me very well, and I hope to find you again. But uh, for now, this part of you will be here. And uh, she steps away. And uh, goes over to Rackmorn. Tibet, okay. you gain an inspiration for that. Oh. Woo! You can see Rackmorn kind of sifting through. It seems that his pockets are full of coins, so he's trying to find any other specific items. And he, you see that he finds a little lock, uh, a little like portrait, kind of in a cracked picture frame. Pulls it out, and he kind of goes, "Oh, I recognize that." That's the old king before, oh, before the alliance was formed. His place has been around for a long time. He pockets the small painting, and you can see another section of the island goes down. Captain. Hi, Miss Ocean Song. Um, I do believe you are taking quite a bit here. Uh, and she gestures to the boat, uh, and his pockets. Um... Is there anything of yours that you would like to leave behind so the island isn't sunken to the bottom by the time we leave? You can see for just a split second, his eyes dart a little bit, kind of to the mast on his back, or not the mast, the, uh, the wheel, the wheel on his back. And he just uh, feigns a smile. Ah, oh, yes, of course. And he takes off his hat and tosses it over to the pile of gold. Barely... <laughs> A bump on the island. Hi, me and the tricorn have been a long, <laughs> a long journey together. Captain, respectfully, you and I both know that hat means nothing to you. He, and she, she 
just she like looks oh like she looks behind him essentially to to signify she like she's talking about the wheel he puts both hands on his hips listen miss ocean song it is true i am taking quite a bit of treasure and it is taking quite a toll on the island but let's be pragmatic for a second it's either it or us and i'm not so sure about you but i choose me hmm your survival and 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 livelihood, sure, but I don't see how an old ship wheel is key to that. He steps or down the very, from the. Oh, sorry, you finish first. Uh, at the very least, you know, that or the book. He steps down from the mound of gold he was on and kind of towers over you looking down as he is like face to face with you you hold your tongue miss ocean song it is more than an old wheel then it seems worthy to place it here where it will be remembered while the stare down is happening i'm gonna go mm. back to honeymoon and phasos as you dig through yes. and honeymoon as you are digging through ah. that pile of treasure you do find <gasps> A page of an uh, of the book. It is represented by a book because I didn't have the asset to put a page. <laughs> okay. But yeah. as you go and t uh, go to reach for this page, you hear oh, whispers shit. in the back of your mind. As your hand gets closer, the whispers get louder. Okay. Are there any whispers I can understand? They are too garbled. You can give me a wisdom check. Okay. Or a perception check, actually, if you so wish. Ooh, better. <laughs> Bing bong. 17. Oh, there it is. It's hard to make out, but there's a various, just, just sea of voices. Ah, oh, they're basically the same. Oh. A sea <laughs> of voices fill your mind of various conversations, just uh, like a crowd of people talking. You do make out like a few, one voice that you recognize, the voice of the guardian, who seems to be talking to some other person, warning them against something and mm -hmm. warning that this information is too great to be left in the hands of the people of the inner seas. Well, Honeyman's here to prove him right. She grabs the page. You grab the page. <laughs> the island starts to rumble a little bit, and you see flashes of visions of the creation of the island rising from nothing in the inner seas, your world, before an image of it vanishing just completely gone with a bunch of ships now docked in complete open sea being pulled into a hole where the island once was. Ooh. And your mind, you get a, a slight migraine for a split moment before it's gone. Cool. Uh, what can I, is there anything of note on the page itself, like in writing or illustration? Yes. It is kind of a garbled mess of an old dialect, but in abyssal. Speaking Augers. speaking of the various different kind of effects of what is called creation magic, and it seems to have Ooh. something to do with how the island was formed. But cool. you don't have Honeymoon. all the pieces. Yeah, Honeymoon will tuck that into her 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 boob, into her bra. Well, she doesn't wear a bra. Oh, I was like, tuck that into her minute. little dress, <laughs> uh, and she will um, maneuver over here. <laughs> I was going to say, what, is she going to hold it like David Hasselhoff in the Fuck SpongeBob no, movie? <laughs> No, but she, yeah, she tucks it I, I into her uh, top. I was imagining more that like she just has like a zipper on her chest and she just opens it up <laughs> and like, I'm gonna tuck that right that in there. That would be awful. But yeah, Honeymoon <laughs> is uh, moving over this way while other stuff's happening. Phasos, you dig through those as after uh, Tibeth drops her uh, locket, you dig through and you don't find any pages. However, you do find some kind of old crowns of some kind of a royalty that's long gone. You do find a few more like portraits of some kind, including one very, very ornate, like about as big as you, that kind of a wall piece, almost a centerpiece of some kind of, of a royal long forgotten to history. Mm, okay. But no page. Okay, Bezos is going to um, you know, kind of set those to the side. He's gonna look out into the uh, the kind of skybox of uh, the the world and, and and seeing how it's crumbling and stuff. He's gonna he's gonna try something. Ooh. He's gonna look out. He's gonna take off his jacket. He's gonna, oh, his poor distressed jacket. His poor distressed jacket. He's gonna you know fluff it out a few times. You know, give it some pats. He's gonna do a deep sigh. 
and he's going to place it neatly folded onto the pile and look to see what happens in the distance. You leave it on the pile, and a piece of land rises up from the ocean, filling the cay a little bit more as more birds kind of flock away from the rising ground. Not nearly as much as Tibet's, however, it is new land nonetheless, filling a new part of the cay. Thezos takes note of this, and he's going to uh, grab the crown and uh, the portrait and bring it to the boat to put it on there. Um, you do so, and a larger portion, larger than oh, even your God. jacket was able to salvage, sinks yeah. down. Mm-hmm. Cool. He, he, he watches this happen, takes notes of it, um, and uh, is going to just continue. Meanwhile, and I'll not let that happen for those who don't want this to happen. I'll not let that happen too often before you can intervene. Gotcha. Lotilla, <laughs> what yeah. is what is it you're doing? I'm also looking for pages. You're looking um, for pages. So you search. Digging through the gold. Yeah, you search about there, digging through the gold, and you do find a page. Ooh. And just like uh, honeymoon, whispers kind of fill your head as your hand gets closer to the page. Do you pick it up? You pick it up, and flashes of imagery of various soldiers fighting each other, seemingly over, you can't tell what, and kind of in the center of it all, a figure that looks very similar to the statue you saw in the dungeon, standing. And it seems to be having a conversation you can't quite hear with an owlin of some kind. They seem distressed. They seem as though they're warning the figure about something. And the flashes end. You have, if you will, a slight migraine. You have the page in your hand. And a small chunk of the island sinks. She's gonna take a look at what happened to the island and look at the, uh, and look at the screen. And just... You can see, kind of in the projected image next to the wall, you can see a few portions of the shore has been retreated into water and it is rising closer kind of to the tree line that once bordered the island and is now the new beach. Where is that? Kind of down <laughs> south. That the... Uh, Almost the same, the same shore that uh, you were first washed up on is now swallowed. Oh god, okay. Mm. Rip. Okay. And in the page, since you can speak uh, Abyssal. Abyssal as well, you know, you see that the pages, um, not that you would know this, but they, they would complement the information given to Honeymoon about creation magics and its nature uh, when it comes to creating large structures, larger than buildings, entire continents, and kind of the power that's required in order to sustain that. Good news is she would go to Honeymoon with that because Honeymoon's her magic girl. <laughs> All right, you do so. And while you guys are searching, um, oh, since I everyone... Have one more thing. Yeah, what's up? I was going to... I was going to try to find where we are, like volcanic, the area we are, and see if I can. not I'm going to try to make that stronger so that we last mm-hmm. a little bit uh-huh. longer. What do you drop? She pulls out what looks to be a hand knit sweater. Oh. It says Latilla Flint on it. Oh. Mm. She places it down. She, It's folded. Oh. And she says, goodbye, Chase. Oh. <gasps> I don't want to join you just yet. Oh, oh fuck. You lay fuck. down the sweater, and the rumbling that you feel underneath your feet calms to a stop. And oh. you can see that a lot of the rustling trees that would be right outside of you, kind of in the projection on the walls, they seem to stop rustling for a bit as the ground seems stable outside of you. God damn. And as you guys are going about your business, you can see that um, Leo pipes up. This don't seem right, Captain. Leo. <laughs> and the captain just eyeballs him a little bit. And uh, he steps back and folds, kind of like pulls out a dagger with his one good hand. I gotta ask you to stop, Captain. Oh, dear. And the captain doesn't pay him any mind. He doesn't pay Tabeth any mind, and he continues back to his things. Oh. You can see Theo is just kind of looking to to Beth and Lotilla for approval. Oh no. He's kind of like, he looks worried in his face and unsure of what to do. Internally, um, Lotilla's just like, I mean, he's right. Can I see him, actually? 
Uh, there possible? is a mountain of gold between the two of you. I was gonna say, I might have missed the Well, vision. maybe, maybe he, yeah. Maybe not, but... Heard it, though. Yeah. Yeah. The sentiment's there. Um, Rackmore so... seems unfazed by his concerns. Oh, so he turned his back on <laughs> Tibet and uh, oh, Theo? Oh, my fucking god. Uh-huh. <laughs> she is as deftly as she can with her sleight of hand. <laughs> She would oh. like to loosen that wheel that's so attached to his back. Oh. Give me a sleight of hand. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Oh, oh come on. That's that was a three. That's fucking Ooh. plus eight in there. Ooh. You don't have, yes. have any inspiration anywhere? <laughs> oh, I do. Oh Hey, you just got you just got one, yeah. You did just yeah. get one. Does that mean oh. I roll again? Yep. Yeah, basically, it's oh, basically you may. advantage. You're spending. Yes. Oh. There it is. You loosen it, and you are able to drop the wheel, and it boom lands on the gold as a loud chinging sound, and you can see that a large portion of the entirety of the island starts to oh. fill up. Oh, my. And Rackmorn turns around to, to see this, and he pulls a gun on you. Yep. Oh. oh, she pulls dear. a gun on him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, stand off. Yeah, uh, I'm afraid you're going to be leaving a little light-handed here, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! He squints his eyes. You think I got a welcoming party waiting when I head back home? That the Sea Trade Company ain't going to wring me neck for everything I got and more? That I'm not going to be stuck doing indentured work, never to feel the freedom of the open ocean ever again. You could always leave, like I did. Mm. You owe nothing to those rats in the port. You owe nothing to the pirates out the sea. You only owe it to yourself and the people you care about. Aye, and I'm doing it for myself. For those rats at the Sea Trade Company, I do have to thank them for teaching me a very valuable lesson. The only way to have true control and freedom to direct your own life is to get ahead. And the only way to get ahead is by stepping atop those without the stones to do it first to someone else. And I gotta say, this island is looking like a mighty fine ladder. So I'll make one final proposition to you all, as fellow crewmates. You can either join me and take what treasure's here that is rightfully ours by fairness, or you can keep your hands clean of this whole mess, and I'll happily sail you back to shore unharmed. The forbidden third option is that you can stand in my way and task me with the poor chore of having to hurt you. But I ain't letting one more thing get in the way of the life I am owed. With this, Rackmorn has given you each a choice. What is your response to Beth? Hmm. So you will leave the wheel. I will not. Then I'm afraid you're going to have a mighty fine chore of cleaning me up. And she cocks her gun. Lotilla, what okay. is your response? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Can you come back to me in a minute? <laughs> okay. I'll go through the NPCs then. Thank you. Uh... You see Leo kind of trying his best to hold Theo. his dagger in a shaky hand. Theo. Theo, 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 Theo. Theo trying his best to hold his dagger in a shaky hand. It's not enough, Captain. We gotta give back all, all that treasure. We've caused too much damage to the island as it is. Uh, besides, you still got that book. You could always turn that in for some gold, like you said. Sharn's response. I ain't leaving empty pocketed. I came here, and I've lost too much. I'm with the captain. Honeymoon, what is your response? Mm. Honeymoon, like, kind of 
stands up from where she was, I imagine, kind of kneeling down, sifting through treasure for the pages. Um, she kind of taps her chin. Um, uh, hmm. And she says, um, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> she kind of makes a show of looking at her nails, and she says, you know, the moment I saw that book and what it could do, I really wanted to have it myself. And she will extend her hand with her star map held in the other and says, The way I see it, one less share to worry about. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Hmm. <clears throat> Lotilla, do you have a response now? I think so. All right. What is your response? <sighs> Captain. Regrettably, I will be breaking contract. This isn't right. I don't know, somewhere inside of you, you know it's not right. What you're going through with it, anyway. And Phazos, what is your response? Phazos, he, you know, kind of adjusts his tie, straightens his his uh, um, vest, steeples his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> One day. I will return to the city of my birth, to the slum where my dear mother was murdered in cold blood, to the pit where I was beaten and broken, and I will raise that slum to the ground until naught but ash remains. And then, from the ashes, I will build my new empire. An empire that will seep into the soul of every nation, of every kingdom. An empire that will dwarf that sea trade company and any that would oppose me. I will rule through blood and gold. No gods, no kings. Only me, and no one will get in my way. Not some mystic guardian, nor some pissant noble, and not any of you. I, for one, agree with Honeymoon on the matter. One less share, and the power to come here as we will it. And I'm gonna need everyone to roll yeah. initiative. <laughs> All right. oh, that was good. God. That was good. Okay, give me your best shot. Huh? Of uh, music. Oh, okay. Uh. Mm, okay, I think I got it. All right, for this battle, since it is the final battle, I will be open rolling. Oh. So here is their oh, initiative. God. Here's their initiative plus two. All right, it's four. Plus two. Man. Just barely. Let's see. Over that. <laughs> uh, stop. All right. DJ, huh? And seeing DJ as this, seeing, seeing as this battle ah. has a conflict of interest among party members. Uh oh. PVP oh, yeah? is allowed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Wait. Okay. So Shorn. it's me, Latilla, and. Theo versus Sharn, Rackmore, and Phasos and Honeymoon. I don't think, We're not on Rackmore's side. No, I don't Rackmore think they're on Rackmore's versus, side. Rackmore is it's the Rackmore one versus all of us. Out. It's, it's Rackmore and oh, okay. Sharn uh, uh, versus uh, everyone. Else. Let's, yeah. Right uh, now, Honeymoon doesn't like want to kill you guys. Yeah. Okay, I, I was getting <laughs> like, confused by the by the by the speeches there. I was like, oh, I see. Phasos will gladly kill whoever gets in his way. Of course. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. The captain is currently so the far, way. so far, alliances are Honeymoon, Theo, Tibeth, and Lotilla versus Sharn and Rackmorn versus Phazos on his lonesome. Ah, Phazos says, "Fuck everybody but me." <laughs> well, he did. He did agree with Honeymoon. He so did agree. Like, okay. Still the partner. So still are partners. you? Okay, partner. Okay, all right. Then uh, Rackmorn and Sharn versus everybody else for now. Yes. Gotcha. For now. <laughs> all right. Okay. Phazos, you're up first. All right, Phazos is going to start by raging. Um, his uh, second rage of the day. It is only, and I'll put that in the chat. 
Yep, yep. Um, and and he is going to um. Yeah, you know what? He's gonna grasping tentacles. Uh, so he is. Uh, let's see. He needs to be within fifteen feet. Uh, oop, that's not the. There you go. So let me make sure. Okay. So I need to move one foot forward. Um, as Phazos, he he, you know, rolls up his sleeves. His tattoos Wait. fully visible. So wait, here, wait, wait, wait. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, Isn't he on higher ground? Yeah. So here's let me yeah let me explain the uh, how this works. So oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Here. Whenever you see these like outlines, that means it is five foot up um, in terms of like a mound of gold, and mm -hmm. uh, you know the highest one being fifteen feet up. So you, it is like diagonal uh, up. Okay. So that would be like I'll 10, 20 one, feet. I'll move. I'll move one more forward, so mm -hmm. that'll be at 15. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, you know, roll up my sleeves as my tattoos are fully visible, and my tattoo of the grasping tentacles is going to activate um, as I, uh, yeah, start to try to wrap around him. He has to, let me post it in there. You could, uh, okay. So yes, he's making strength saving throw. athletics. He is making this with a plus. F I would uh, like to do my woe thing, please. <gasps> Use your woe thing. So uh, let me. Uh, <laughs> shit, how do I fucking put that in there? So this, and just so you know, uh, it is not here. an athletics. Oh, it sorry. Strength, strength save. Throw. So strength, strength so, yeah. save. OK, so this will be a, with a plus four minus a D6. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as. Um, well, hopefully it passes because it'll be a little silly if it doesn't. But mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, as as Phasos goes to uh, you know to get him, Honeymoon kind of very quickly sees that uh, you know what's happening, and she just kind of like whips out a hand and points at Rackmore with like light glinting off her painted nails, and she just says submit, and that's uh, my my woe. All right. Ding -bong. Ding -bong. He has to subtract Ooh. that from his uh, thingy. So his strength save will be with a plus four. Uh, so it is now a 12. He fails. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's roll that damage. Uh... <sighs> Whoa, be upon me. <laughs> and he is now grappled by me as well. Ooh. Very nice. All right. His movement is now zero. Anything and else? That's all I can do. All right. Uh... Honeymoon. Okay. As a bonus action, um, it's time to break out my class features. Uh... Let me mark that I used one of my cosmic omens. Uh, and I am going to... Oh, he takes plus two damage to that. Oh, plus two. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to take on my starry form, specifically the archer. Um, so yeah, Honeymoon's body becomes galactic and nebulous um, with her, her eyes and nails and the edges of her horns shining. Or horns, rather. Um, let's see. And so can I do it as part of the casting? Yes, when I activate it as a bonus action, uh, I, so I can go ahead and do this feature now. I'm go. I mm -hmm. make a ranged spell attack. Yeah, Druid of Stars uh, is powerful. I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, roll. That is. Uh, this is at uh, Rackmorn. At Rackmorn, that's not going to be enough. On you Poggers. You see that he almost like bats it out of the way with his bracer on his arm. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right, then I'm, let me, then I think, uh, Honeyman's gonna try to do is, well, she's still got line of sight. She's not gonna stay in the same spot. Like, I'm gonna move at the end of my turn. But she, you know, takes on the story form, hurls off this, uh, luminous arrow. He bats it away. And Honeymoon, uh, it's, you know, it's time, it's time to activate Stone Cold Power Bitch. Uh, Good. and, she, uh, again, reaches a hand out, this time, like, with the palm facing up, fingers, uh, curled, um, and, like, her fingernails glow very bright, and underneath Rackmorn's feet, uh, it almost looks like a small galaxy of stars starts to bubble up under him, uh, and she is going to, and they all kind of shoot up with these tendrils trying to wrap around him, and I'm gonna cast Hold Person. Ooh. Hold <laughs> Person. All right. Wisdom save, so this is going to be with a plus z zero. He is held. <laughs> uh, held. My melee, my melee fighters have fucking fun. <laughs> Just gotta get up there. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then Honeymoon is going to uh, get out of Sharn's way, uh, cause she's in danger. Five, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Use, uh, use, trying to use the barrels as some cover. <laughs> 
And that is my turn. All right. To Beth. To Beth. If, if, since he's uh, paralyzed, you have advantage if you're within five feet. And also, if you hit, it's an auto crit. <laughs> does that also proc sneak attack, then? Yes, it does. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. So she's going to take a, a step forward and take a swipe at him with it with her rope. She's going to first, like, noticing that he's, like, not disarmed, but uh, no longer uh, concentrated on her with his pistol. She's going to pocket her pistol. Uh, mm-hmm. And she's going to walk up and whip her rope dart around and try to slash at his uh, his leggies. Yeah, mm. you have advantage because he's paralyzed. Paralyzed. Let's see. Is there a way? I'll just roll it twice. Whatever. Uh, achoo. Achoo. 15 is going to uh. do it. Oh. Yes. Good. Ha-poo. Very nice. And roll again because you auto crit. Yes. Sick. So Ooh. that is going to be the double down. It's 12. Sneak attack doesn't crit, does it? No. Yes, no. it does. Does it? Does it? I, that's how we does do it in my game. Sneak games. attack crit. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. That's, yeah. Good stuff. And then uh, after raking his calves, I imagine, with her rope dart. Uh, she's going to, you know, wind it back to, like, pull it back to her person. Not to, like, trip him up or anything, because uh, that would be a whole different move. Uh, but she's going to wind it back, pull it back to her person, and then she's going to, let's see, she's going to jump off and get between Sharn and Theo. Okay. Oh. oh, yep. Your rope dart, you just, like, slash, and you cut, like, a big chunk of flesh out of him with various, like, whips and and turns of this rope dart just (laughs) just like cutting him up real good and when she gets down to sharn's level she's going to she's going to like say like say to her it's like my fight is with the captain you don't have to do this and she responds to you and my life is with the captain so i do and she tibeth looks back at theo and she just kind of readies herself i am going to get big. Yes. You're going to get big. Get big. Wait, big, can you do that big. twice a day? I have three shots. <gasps> Holy yeah. shit. It's, I know. It's huh? beautiful. Do you want That's me to put incredible. it in again? I will do it. Today. Yeah, there we go. And I forgot I had an, I needed to tack on an extra d6 for uh, damage oh, earlier. Oh, that is true. That's fine. fine. Yeah, we, yeah. We'll do it now. Exactly. Can All right, you're big now. Here? That's your attack. I am. Woof. Coils onto the ship. Right also, here. one thing I forgot to tell you guys: um, ah. there is a special mechanic in this room because there are various treasures, weapons, items in this room. If you so wish, you can spend a bonus action to search through it. It will cost the island a little bit of its land, but you can search through the treasure to find a useful item as a bonus ah. action on your turn. Ooh. All right. And she actually <clears throat> no, she'll she'll throw. She's gonna throw a trident and then a dagger. A throw. Okay. At? Yeah, she can throw stuff. Uh, gonna throw a trident. See if that hits. No, it does not. Uh, oh, it does have advantage. advantage. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. No, I mean, yeah. It all might it... be different if it's paralyzed. No, no, no. Or if it's all... not, sorry, not paralyzed, if it's... All um... attacks against paralyzed have advantage. Only melees get crit. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, then I will try that again. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, well, well, it doesn't matter, you anyway. crit anyway. All right, let's see it. Had uh, there's damage, plus a d6 on Lamenta. Did the damage not roll through? Uh, give it a sec. If you already clicked it, give it a sec. Okay, so uh, roll it again, just for the crit damage. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say it's more fun that it does crit, so uh, yeah, roll the d6 again. Right. Hmm. Uh, all right, wait. still a decent hit, Sometimes and you have another wins. attack. Yes. yes, she's gonna throw a dagger. Well, see, that's great because we're we're burning all of our like we're burning <laughs> through his health, so then we can turn on each other really soon. <laughs> no! All right. It's, it's that's a seventeen, and just to see if it crits. Nope, but seventeen. Mm-hmm. And then damage. Once roll 20 catches up, there we go. Yep, that's a six. Yep, you cut him up real good. As one, he seems to be agonizing, although he is unable to move his lips too much 
to say much as he is paralyzed, but you can see he's very angry. I <laughs> to get a comment out. Bezos, if you have time, could you get me the other trident? <laughs> <laughs> Next are the NPC's turn. And uh, you can see that uh, Theo is going to come up close with a shaky hand and leg, just kind of stumble up here. He's not going to get within melee range, but he's just like, I'm sorry about this, Captain. And he's going to throw his dagger. He has advantage. He does have advantage, but with no bonuses. Hapa, mm. hapa. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes you roll two sixes. He, he <laughs> throws his dagger, uh, and it just ching into the gold, and it does not affect the island. Fine. I was about to ask. Uh, Tibet, <laughs> like, whips around. She's just like, wait a minute. Because <laughs> she's, like, trying to protect him from Shard, and he just fucking walks up to the captain, and he's like, he's like ah! oh, okay. That, that's fine, I guess. And then she uh, turns back to Sharn. Sharn. Real quick. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Honeymoon, as she sees what Theo's doing, she'll yell over to him, focus on finding the missing pages. And she points to, to this area over here about where another constellation is. He kind of looks around. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Oh. He so kind of looking back and forth to the place that you pointed and looking back at you, just kind of darting back and forth. I'm sorry, Miss Langley, but uh, don't sit right with me to take anything else from this room. And Honeymoon bites, honeymoon bites down her remark. <laughs> Sharn is going to bonus action disengage. Oh. And she's going to run up to Rackmorn, who kind of gives her a look. She reaches into his pocket to pull out the book and s kind of flipping through the pages and finding one and says some words in, abyss in abyssal. Ye protectors of the K, heed my call, for your island is in danger and I am in need of your assistance. In abyssal, of course. You, Honeymoon says, yells in abyssal, you bitch. <laughs> she turns to you and just kind of shrugs. I'm sorry, Miss Honeymoon. You were a sight to see, though. Well, and pity out... it's ending like this. <laughs> she shrugs, and out from the piles of gold, you see several statues of the figure that Lotilla you saw in your vision, and you all saw in the dungeon, rise uh. up and brandish their swords. Mm. Uh. Hey. All right. Thazos, your turn. Okay. Hurry up so, and kill him. Uh, Want to know a fun fact? Yes. Um, cool bug fact. Cool, cool bug fact. <laughs> cool bug so, fact. Sneak attack is a uh, a range. It works on ranged attacks, right? That's mm -hmm. that's one of the things. Uh, I have a second tattoo I have never used. Oh. So, oh. My other arm, which is not currently holding um, Rackmore with tentacles, becomes a giant inky eldritch maul. Oh um, crap! Hold as... on. What? Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. Rackmore has to roll his. Save his, his wisdom, wisdom save. save. Oh, yes. oh right. I'm so, yes. Oops, that's I am so sorry. I forgot about Rackmorn because he was stuck. Um, so Hopefully he stays stuck. He's with a plus zero. Eat yep. shit. Oh yep, he's stuck. Uh, okay, sorry. Continue. Why is it not okay, your eldritch it maw? Let me, maw? It didn't let me uh, put, put it, so I'm just gonna post it in there. So it now is not my 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 melee uh, attacks are now ranged attacks and count Ooh. for sneak attack. Oh. Um, <laughs> beautiful. So, and it also does an extra damage. My my other fist becomes this giant inky maul as my tattoo activates, and I bring down the hammer on Rackmore. Yeah, uh, you got advantage. I do have advantage. So I don't think roll. you'll auto crit though. Um, no, you have to be within five feet of the creature. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So, so yeah, the they they both would have hit. Great. Um But it's only one All attack, right? right? It is, oh, it that, is yeah, that's advantage. Yeah. One attack. Um, so, um, I do this one plus the extra for the Eldritch Maul, um, which is th that one, plus sneak attack, which is that one. Woo. All right. Uh, so, a total of 16 damage um, on Rockmorn. Uh, ooh, yes, okay, yes, it lashes out and just, like, from a pff, range, range punches. 
It's good time. Yep, and you do so, and he's looking real beat up. Um, and that I think. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna action search. Oh, yeah. All right. Please action get within search. five feet so you can get the auto crit. Climb, yeah, Bezos, I, climb. I, I climb slightly, <laughs> and I'm going to continue to maul him. Still counts as a ranged attack because it is the 15 foot maul or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. So. I'm gonna do that. Oh no! Uh, wait, no, that was that was my damage. That was my damage. Oof. That was your oh, damage, yeah. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. That's yeah, the 21 will yeah. hit. Great. And you so, auto crit. And I auto crit. So I'll I'll roll my damage again. Um, so there you go. There you go. Okay, very um, nice. Plus plus my uh, Eldritch Maul. Oh my gosh. Should we double that um, as well? So <laughs> let me do that. Bad. You know, we're doubling everything else. Might as well. Yes. And <laughs> oh my god. Go. Just, just so, give me, just give me the final number. Hold up. Let me, let me do the math. Yeah, here. hang on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's fine. This is just, uh, this is just what it needs to be. Um, plus seven. That's um, thirty-two. Huh. Beautiful. Oh, wait, no, I missed one. Plus <laughs> five. Thirty-seven. Oh my fucking god, that's gorgeous. 37, you're just these two massive punches, just poof, poof. you hear a few cracks in him, in his body, as you snuff the wind out of him that he's barely able to breathe back in, being held magically. He uh, is er hanging oh. on for deal life. Yay. Not for long. Uh, oh, I feel god. like as, as Phazos is lashing out with the, you know, with, you know, having like very clean hits uh, with honey with honeymoon's like match going on, I feel like as he's landing a punch, he just kind of looks over his shoulder and they lock eyes, mm -hmm. and honeymoon just in her you know sorry form, eyes glowing, just gives him a slight smile. He he smiles back slightly. It's, this is good times. There's good acknowledgement of a. <laughs> they work well together. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Honeymoon. Okay, bonus action. Gonna do my uh, archer forms attacky thing. Beautiful. Ooh, all right. On who? On uh, Rackmorn? Uh, yes, on Rackmorn. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me, oh, I have advantage. Let me see if I crit. Yes, oh, you oh, can. <laughs> yeah, we just hand them out. They just hand them out. Oh, Jesus baby. Christ, man. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, it is. Uh, so 1d8 plus 5, so I'll do 2d8 plus 10 is what I'll roll. 2d8 plus 10. 17. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So you blast him with this. Yeah, I do. How, how do you... How do you... Do you kill him? Do you, do you kill him or do you want, just want to knock him out? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm killing him. All right. How do you, oh, God. How do you kill Captain Rackmorn? Jesus. I mean, I thought that was the page we were on. No, no, I got you. Um, <laughs> that was the page Bezos was on, for sure. Yeah. Uh, as Honeymoon, you know, with one hand still, you know, palm up, fingers curled, maintaining the, the hold person. With her other hand, she sort of summons this uh, ball of cosmic kind of white gold light. Uh, and... Uh, as she kind of shoots it off at him, um, she, hmm, she says, Do you know, Captain, you're looking like a pretty good ladder to me. And she sends it off at him, and it blasts a hole through his chest. Ooh. Oh! Oof. He Oof. coughs up kind of a spew of blood as, for all his determination and anger towards the world, the great Captain Rackmorn was merely a man. And he dies. Jesus. Ugh. Good. Cool. Uh, next trick. Let me see what I want to do. Um, oh, yeah. That wasn't the Yeah, that was my trick. bonus action. <laughs> um, Strongest bonus that's action terrifying. ever. That it's so wow. good. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, now is the time to go balls to the walls. Um, how so, though? Hmm... Yeah, I think we'll 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 go at Sharn with a good old guiding bolt. Okay. Let me make sure. Let me reposition myself because I want to make sure I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to be right in this little corner here, mm -hmm. trying to be in such a range that <laughs> she'll have a hard time getting to me. Right. <laughs> um. 
And yeah, let me go ahead and uh, pop off a guiding bolt. And bingity bongity. And Sharn is going to try and evade it. You are firing at disadvantage. Am I? Yes. She is going to use her reaction to... Oh. Okay. Okay. Try and... Oh, disadvantage. I didn't even hear it. Yes. Okay. Let's roll again. No, that'll still hit. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, uh, can we take the first damage? (laughs) We'll go with the second one. Aw, how a bummer. Uh, But the next attack roll against her does have advantage. Oh boy. Oh no. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) Hey, Tabeth, uh... (laughs) Go crazy. All right, you blast it at her, and she looks a little bit shocked at both her captain dying, and now she is being pummeled. Yeah. I'll give Tibeth her a is going to come up. Let's see. Yeah, she can't evade this one. <laughs> nope. She can get up to here. Oh. And she's going to be on level with Sharn here. And she's going to hold out her hand. Give me the book. Give me a persuasion. Come on. Come on. Can I help like, with the background intimidation? <laughs> mm, I would say uh, it's not will, gonna work. If you if you wish, I'll say you can take your turn to do that if you so wish. Okay. You can eat up your turn to do that. Like basically spend a bonus action to support to Beth. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, alright. To Beth, <laughs> you may roll again. Okay. Oh, I don't get to roll. Ah. Okay. Okay. She seems... She looks down. It's hard to get a read on her. Well. Wait, shit. Why did I move closer to the statues? (laughs) (laughs) Fool. (laughs) Anything else, Sabeth? She whispers one more time. Or, well, not whispers, but says in a very serious tone to her, if you don't give me that book... Know that you will die with it. Not by my hand. But see what happened to your captain. Honeyman waves from behind the stack of gold. (laughs) (laughs) And that is the rest of her turn. Lotilla. Yes. Anything you want to do? If you attack action, right? That took your bonus action to help, uh, well. Actually, no, that is the help action, so that is full action. Sorry, you do have a bonus action. I don't know what I was saying. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm going to move closer. Just tower by her. Just be imposing. And I have a couple of bonus stuff I can do. On momento. Uh... Oh, wait. Can I? Help action takes full action, right? Yes. Yes. What if I action surge? Then you would have another full action. Yeah, That's so would. funny. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go crazy. All right. Go crazy, go stupid. Yeah, your first ah! attack roll has advantage. First attack roll has advantage. All right, cool. Let's take a stab. Bing take bong. a stab. And I have advantage. Stibbity stooby. Might. Doesn't look like I'll need the advantage, but still. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yep. The first one will hit. Good deal. And let's stay up. So that is your first attack. Sorry, I thought that was two attacks. It's not. Um... No, because no, Guiding Bolt, uh, a target it hits. The next yes. attack roll has advantage. Okay, seven. You stab into her. Plus she takes six. a. Ooh. Just do a D6. Ooh. Plus six, yep. Uh, a D6, rather. D6, sorry. Yes. She's trying to evade the blows, trying to parry it with her old, worn out cutlass, but it's wearing her down. You do get a good hit in. I assume you have a second attack? Mm-hmm. This one will not have advantage. Because, correct. This one will not. Okay. She stabs Ooh, it. it doesn't we matter. It. And, let's see. Damage. All right. And another D6. She stabs in, gets in her face, and says, give. <laughs> All right. Give me an intimidation. Fuck yes. I have advantage on that. Ooh. Sick. Because you big. Because you big. <laughs> big, big Latilla. Big mama. Oh. Ooh, fuck yes. God. We I'm, love to see it. I'm going to roll something oh with my. a plus four. 
Okay. Oh, she got no. It. Shit. We didn't waver her resolve. On her turn, she reaches, she whole lifts the book as if to give it to you and throws it over into the fire. the fire. As it starts to catch flame, she pulls her pistol to aim to fire at it. She needs to hit an 18. She is firing with Can a I... plus three. What's up? Oh, I, I'm just thinking. Uh, I was gonna offer to get in front of that, but I think I'm. Uh, I would like to woe it, please. You may woe it. It will you roll your d6. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So she will subtract that. She will subtract that. So her plus three is now plus zero. So she's rolling a straight d20. If she needs an 18, huh? If she needs an 18 to hit the book. Oh, no! oh my oh, god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Crack shot there. She fires at the book, and it explodes into a flurry of torn up pages. And she drops her pistol and holds up both her hands. Uh. Tibeth, mm. Tibeth gets down to her level, and she like, like tries to get eye contact with her, and she says, "Funnily enough." You did the right thing. <laughs> and she gets up, and she starts heading to the portal. Wait, do the statues do anything? The statues, actually, hold on, let me pause Before. this. Oh, yeah. well, that's... <laughs> yeah. So as she fires at the book and it explodes into a bunch of cut pages, the statues crumble down into bits of rubble and stone, and the island starts to shake rapidly oh uh, oh and she just looks to you with a smug smile well now is your time to take with the treasure and get out of here and theo just walks up uh, we we can't take the treasure the island's falling apart we gotta leave it here i mean see. the treasure oh. in the boat already counts as taken like it's not gonna do anything better to leave it we don't have room what do you mean we don't have room? We can push I'm gonna give you. Tomorrow. I'm gonna give you meta knowledge because here's gonna be a choice. Another choice. Okay. I'll, if you take the treasure in the boat, it will do an unknown amount of damage to the K, as well as I assume you're gonna search for more of the pages, uh, which I will yeah. say you eventually will find. But taking them will do more damage to the K, almost irreparable amounts. Mm -hmm. However. You can leave the pages as is, okay. as well as dump the treasure, which will repair some of the K back, hopefully for a brighter future, where more benevolent visitors will bring it more items in order to heal it. Will that be possible, though, if the book is gone? That yeah, is, there's not really a way to reach it. That is an unknown. I do have a question for the meta. Uh, mm -hmm. would, is just finding the pages enough to destabilize it, or if we find them and then leave them? I will say, so. if you find them and leave them, that may destroy more of the island, as it is treasures within this room. You know, it counts as treasures within this room, and therefore yeah. would harm the island if taken. The knowledge itself is the treasure. Gotcha. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. gotcha. Yeah, as, you, as, as established by the fact that you took some portraits and seemingly mundane items, treasure is merely... Uh, at, due to the value of the person who places it there. Oh. Pick up the wrong coin, the whole fucking island yep. sinks. Just like how yeah. Lotilla dropped a sweater of all things and allowed the island to heal some. Not something of uh, easy monetary value to calculate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like putting down my page right now wouldn't do anything. It might. Because it's not. Oh. Yeah, well, w would we want to confer real quick? Yes, yes. because this like is a thing that I feel really each of your characters has a different, yeah. like, say Well, I meant, about. like, conferring about the knowledge that we've found. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, like yes, yes, yes. But yeah. So, so honey... Before I tip the boat, honeymoon, <laughs> I found this page. Your magic. Uh, it spoke to me in abyssal. Interesting. I also found a page. She takes it out of her, uh, her <clears> top. Uh, same thing. Um... I I would like to find the rest. Yeah, Honeyman takes it with a nod. 
I would yeah. like to take a look at the the over screen of the island and just be like, it did do damage when I found it and picked it up. We might be limited in how much we can learn. Um, yeah, what is uh, Phasos' yeah. reaction? So first of all, I want to say that Phasos, uh, just, just for visual sake, of course he doesn't have his suit, but both of his arms are long inky tendrils right now <laughs> um, uh, uh, with his giant buff body. Um, so yeah, he's very much uh, a kind of venom looking. He is furious uh, in yeah. his rage at the fact that Sh uh, Sharn did that, the whole no, destroying yeah. of the book. And he was also um, pissed. And unless someone is uh, actively stopping him, he's gripping her with his tendrils and going to be trying to kill her. Oh. Because he is furious. Yeah. Does anyone uh, try to stop him? I... Tibet does. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna roll just to make sure. Attila's perception isn't super high, but I'd like to make sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, Honeymoon's just going to let him do it. Honeymoon is getting down to business and going to start searching over where one of the constellation marks is. Yeah, uh, Honeymoon, is, Honeymoon is just, she walks by, she walks past, you know, totters past in her high heels uh, and says, do be careful not to get your suit any dirtier. And she, uh, you know, goes over here to mm -hmm. look. So yeah. Tibeth and Phazos, you're in conflict of what to do with Sharn. Yes. Look. Yeah. Uh, Phasos, is, you, you know, the tendrils have, have basically begun to reach out uh, at the point where Tibet probably would have, uh, you know, intervened. Yes, she would have noticed that you're, you're switching targets here. She's, she's already surrendered. Leave her alone. Surrendered or not, she destroyed the book. The very thing that allows us to get here and potentially leave. I know potentially the leave? Look, the portal's right behind you. Yes, the portal's right behind me. But for how long? We need to well, get you better this start treasure. going. Uh, to, uh, at this point, Phasos is is uh, he, he is in a rage state. He, mm -hmm. His anger is is very high. Uh, he's going to still attempt to uh, to grapple uh, Sharn uh, if that is uh, allowed. Okay. Via DM. Uh. I'll ask first for Tibeth in character, would you stop this? Yes. Then we are at an impasse. Okay. Ooh. And I would say, in that case, we have to, I would say, make the choice now, just like we did with the saving of the creatures, and just like we did with the saving of Clyde, where we need to have at a vote what we do. Ooh. So okay. we have we have three choices. We can leave with no. We have two choices actually. Um, and Sharn fa uh, Sharn is a non-factor into this because uh, I can tell the tensions are rising, and potentially <laughs> a fight might break out. But I think a fight might break out anyway. Um, <laughs> so I will give you guys the choice of one, leaving with the treasure that you already have, two, gathering the rest of the note, uh, the, the book pages that remains here, potentially doing more damage to the island, or three, leave all the treasure you have found with and leave with nothing. And I will go down the list. Lotilla. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Tilla looking back and forth as having finally noticed Shorn is being strangled. <laughs> well. Oh, God. As she starts, I think she's gonna actually, like, drop gigantism for, and just Ooh. say, I'm ready to go home. I, I don't want to leave this place dying, and I don't want to not leave it dead. I'm going through the portal. So are you leaving with nothing then? I'm not leaving without people. But okay. The treasure stays. All right. The treasure Sorry. stays. Like just, okay. That is like that just is for clarification. Okay. It's not that you don't mind if somebody takes some treasure, but your choice is to leave the treasure here. Yes. All right. Correct. Three. Phasos. What is your uh, choice? Okay. So so the choices, if I'm remembering this correctly, leave. 
uh, without taking treasure, which is not an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> take what we have gathered or continue searching for the book pages. The, page, the missing yep. pages, yeah. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> he wants the treasure. He also would like the pages, so he's going to vote pages. Um, mostly because if the pages can get him back to... Uh, the, the, the K in the future for more treasure at a different date, then he will gladly take that chance, even if it means the destruction of the island. All right. To Beth. Uh, to Beth wants to leave with what we have and just get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay. She, so here's her thought process behind that. The book is burnt. Nobody else is going to come back to this island. And the damage has already been done with what's been taken. So if we leave now and never fucking come back, then the island will be all the better for it. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Also, we get some treasure out of it, which is pretty nice, but still. <laughs> okay. And Honeymoon, what is your choice? Honeymoon has devoted her life to the pursuit of cosmic knowledge and knowledge She's of magics <laughs> beyond, you know what might usually be beyond mortal hands. Mm -hmm. And she, g given that the whole, the, the partnership with Fezo seems to be ringing true, Honeymoon likes the sound of an empire. And with these pages <laughs> talking about creation magic, they can, b they can build whatever the fuck they want on top of that slum. Like th that'll be a good <laughs> fucking start. <laughs> so Honeymoon votes to stay and look yes, for the pages. Yes. Okay. Right. A true partnership. <laughs> now, in in the situation, now uh, Sharn and Theo have their own opinions. Sharn wishes to take as much as she can, including taking the pages, but she does not have a voice in this. Uh, and Theo as well, he has a recommendation that you guys leave the treasure and leave with nothing, but he is not going to have as much of a backbone enough to insist upon that choice. Th three, that he is, he is willing to go with <laughs> anyone, but he will, you know suggest yeah in the situation La where lotilla and tibeth lotilla would you be willing to allow tibeth to leave with the treasure that is already loaded on the boat if it is if it is blatantly explained that since it's already been taken taken a scene by the island and won't do further destabilization she could be persuaded to that yes okay then at this impasse uh if this sounds good to you as players, it appears mm -hmm. our teams are Tibeth and Lotilla versus Honeymoon and Phazos. Yeah. Sounds about right. I <laughs> knew this was probably going to be the end goal, so... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> then we end shall game. roll for initiative one last time. Yeah, as much, uh, like I said, as, as much persuasion as Phazos is willing to give is... Oh, whoops. Tibeth oh. and Lotilla should just... Ah! leave now if they want to leave now just stay out of his way is basically what is uh stay out of his and honeymoon's way that's as much persuasion as he's giving that is more than i expected good job pesos but <laughs> that's very gruffly very ragely um and yeah basically just get out of my way <laughs> to beth i'm taking this literally looks over to latilla and says so if we just take the boat, you and I, and then also Theo over there, we'll get out of your way. Hmm. <laughs> so Lotilla and Tabeth, you would allow them to search for the rest of the pages, potentially dooming the mm. island? Potentially dooming the island, but we're taking the fucking boat. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. That, that, that is not that was... what I expected from Tabeth. Gotcha. Well, at this, Theo is not okay with dooming the island, and he finally steps up. Oh my. He puffs out his chest and clenches his fists under shaking hands and looks upwards at Phazos. Phazos! I can't let you do that. Oh, oh honeymoon. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm I was coming to kind of like be more part of the discussion. <laughs> he's talk going to. Uh, oh, to we look, can talk. He's going to look at Theo. I believe everyone has a place in this world, Theo. And it seems. Yours is below me. Oh. Uh, and uh, he's now Good going God. to, uh, while his one arm is, uh, you know, going towards Char, and his other arm is ready to hammer down on Theo. 
At this, uh, now Tabeth is going to be ready to fight Phazos, regardless uh, of final choice. She's ready to just kick ass. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, but before Honeymoon, like, maybe intervenes, what is Lotilla saying to Honeymoon? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Imminent Theo death got to me really quick. Yeah, uh, okay. Honeymoon? Yes. I, you've probably figured out I can't very le- well leave without you. That's sweet of you, darling, but I do intend to stay. At least long enough to find the rest of those pages. I don't know how much it would do, but could you at least be persuaded to drop them, make copies, and then leave with, by leaving them, the originals here? Honeymoon. I don't know how much it'll do, but it might be something. Hmm. So, so real quick, the, so the stuff on the pages, it detailed kind of, you know, it seems like the pages held memories. I know, but... I know you're trying to find a loophole, Lotilla. But I'll say she, copying the pages and the knowledge is basically, I'm going to say, you're trying to still, loophole. I'm trying to give you a moral yeah, a, yeah, a gotcha. moral choice. You, I, I'm going to say as a DM, respectfully, there is no loophole for this. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Honeymoon it just kind of shakes her head with a little, you know, clinking of her various and sundry jewels. And she, she says, uh, the power held within those pages, not to mention the knowledge in there. The island will get pissed at us for taking it anyway. I don't see what good copying it would do. Understood. I just don't want everything here to die. No. I think it's probably as much as we can get before <laughs> Theo death. <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah, then the shit with Theo happens, <clears throat> or starts threatening to happen. Uh, and I imagine Honeymoon and Latula's heads both just kind of snap over. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> and Honeymoon goes, okay, okay. Um... She, uh, t- you, you come over <clears throat> and you see Phazos, of course, like starting no. to wrap around both Sharn and Theo, Theo and to Beth, like, like has her rope dart out and ready, but not in a way that, uh, Phazos can see. Like she has it like <laughs> ready, like sneaky. by her side. Yeah. Yeah. Sneaky. <clears throat> Honey, I feel like Honeymoon, like can tell the posture of like a viper that's about to strike. Oh, so- yeah, no. Yeah, she's not hiding it to Honeymoon oh, yeah, or Matilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's only hiding yeah, yeah, it to Phasos. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. and Honeymoon... she's going to she's going to look at Phasos. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, Honeymoon would kind of seeing that uh, keep her keep her poker face, but kind of hold a hand up, come a little closer, uh, <clears throat> and be like, "Okay, I think what needs to happen here." I th- well, she looks to Theo and she says, "Theo, I am afraid." You are quite handily outnumbered. And personally, I've no desire to see you dead on the floor. And so I think the best course of action for you, Theodore, is to walk through that portal and go. He finally steadies himself, kind of trying to breathe and just like stops his shaking. Then I'll die with the island. Then perish. Oh, God. (laughs) If that is your choice, Theodore, then so be it. But I am afraid, as I said, you are outnumbered. And our our decision does not align with yours. He seems defeated. He tries to kind of push off Phazos, kind of like, like, of course, defeated. He's like, fine. Yeah. Do you let him go? Hmm. So he's like 100% surrendering at this point? Seemingly so, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Bezos will move his maul uh, away from above uh, Theo's head. Did you want to say something, Bezos? No, no, no. I okay. Say. He kind of rubs his hand around his neck a little bit. Just like... <sighs> I'm going to go and help the lives that are actually valuable on this island. The real lives that you're ruining. I hope you can sleep well at night. And he starts to walk out towards the cave entrance that you once came through. Honeymoon just looks after him like narrowed eyes, raised eyebrows, and says, like a baby, and turns back to the group. <laughs> yes, I'll sleep rather soundly. Well, that being the case, Honeymoon looks to Tibet and Lotilla. As we've said, you need not... We don't intend to force you to stay and search for the pages, as we intend to do. 
I do intend to still kill Sean. Just so you're clear. Yeah, I still have a problem with that, you know. <laughs> she's fine. In fact, I think she would help you with your search on the pages. Isn't that right, Sean? And she, like, looks down at her. She just shrugs. I ain't got a purpose no more. That kind of... Hey, Mr. Jobmaker. Mm. Uh, well, that, that, that's a, that's a, that's a um, good, good segue there. <laughs> she should be happy to have the work. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> Phaelos, um, you know, he, 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 he contemplates for a moment the, the tendrils kind of uh, loosen slightly before uh, he, he, he grips her very tightly. Oh. Those without ambition are going to struggle in my new empire. <laughs> so I would uh, suggest you put your back into the work you may be given. Give me a intimidation. Help us pave the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. Ooh. She uh, kind of struggling for air very reluctantly. She's not very happy to say it. I. Captain. Oh. <laughs> a very, very sly smile crosses Phazos' face as he releases his grip. Very good. Get searching. The rest of you, other than Honeymoon, <laughs> ah, get out of my sight. <laughs> Honeymoon says, oh, I'm honored. I, Captain... And uh, Tibeth makes her way over to the boat and uh, gestures over to Latilla to come with. Yep, Honeymoon will get out of the way. Honeymoon? Yes. She gets up to her fold. Actually, it's probably more than her full height. And then she comes down and you get a hug. Oh. Yeah, honey Honeymoon, I imagine, briefly squeaks like a squeaky toy. <laughs> uh, and she goes, oh! <clears throat> and then she... She does smile kind of softly, and she does return the hug, uh, and she says, Brief as it, as it was, it was a pleasure to go on this adventure with you, Lotilla. You get a very terse whisper of, I have no idea how long this portal is going to last. We don't intend to dilly-dally. Okay. Bezos. Uh, he respectfully <laughs> nods at Lotilla. <laughs> the offer still stands if we ever meet again. See you on the other side. And he gives a uh, curt nod. All right. All right. Do you want me? Just How the to hell are we gonna push this boat into the portal? By the way. Lotilla gets big and she's gonna <laughs> yep. shove it. I All was right. about to say. Lotilla gets big and shoves it, <clears throat> and you guys head through the portal. At, can I say as we're going, mm -hmm. uh, to Beth is going to like shovel out some of the gold. Just Thank like, you. I don't need all of this, <laughs> but we kind of have to go right now. <laughs> we can start a new life with enough. You yes. shovel out <laughs> some uh, of the gold. Yeah, there you uh, go. Yeah. Uh, just That's... for fun, uh, as as Tibeth is kind of shoveling gold out, I feel like Honeymoon catches her eye and does give her a, a smirk and a wink. Tibeth has no idea how to interpret that, so she <laughs> like nervously like waves goodbye, and she's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going, you we're see, leaving right now. As you I don't shovel... know what to do with this hot woman flirting with me. <laughs> As, uh, yeah. as you shovel some of the gold off of the boat, you do see that a, f a bit of the island does seem to get repaired, but uh, in oh, vain gosh. as the other two party members are going yep. to ruin that Cancel progress. Out. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. And you guys head out, and we'll we'll come back to the other two later, yeah. soon. Okay. Okay. But you guys head out NTM. and are brought back, pardon the other boat. Oh! <laughs> Into You're playing battleship, the inner seas back into your world as the flash of light covers your vision and you are spat out <clears throat> as the boat rocks a little bit before settling, and the wind catches the humble sail of the boat, and judging by the sky, you have a decent understanding of the heading to Beth from your experience sailing. Mm -hmm. You know where Belkinus is. Well, that was uh, quite the adventure. Oh, Latilla, you still have your friend with you. I hope so. The spider? Do I still yeah. have him? 
Yep, you kind of look around. You look around you and you see it crawls out of one of your sleeves, kind of out to your arm crawling out. And it seems elated. It's kind of darting back and forth around your arm, looking as if taking in this new sky, this new sea. Well, looks like you have a, a new purpose after all. Say, shall we head back to port then? Preferably not. Oh, uh, yeah. Like Preferably go, a then? different port, since the Dominion might just be hanging out there. <laughs> oh, right. I still don't know why. And, they and then, me. like, a, like she, she, like, she has like that concerned face of like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. And then, like, the slow kind of like realization kind of hits her. She's like, I know exactly which port to hit. And she starts oh. making way for her home port. Aww. Yay! And that, Good ending. that ends the Good story ending. of Tibeth and Lotilla. However, right. meanwhile, at the K, Honeymoon, <laughs> Phazos, and Sharn, you search for the remaining pages, and I'll reveal them all now. Uh, and you don't have to individually go to grab to pick them up. I'm just showing you where they were. And what you find uh-huh. is the oh, unlocked, totally <laughs> unlocked secrets of creation magics that were used to create the Golden K. And with each page that you pick up, more and more of the K starts to fall and crumble. You can see, you can hear cries of animals until suddenly, silence. The volcano is all that's left. Honeymoon. Now that we've gotten all the pages, Honeymoon starts to walk over to the portal. Uh, She kind of looks out through it, uh, the the silence kind of hanging in the air. And she looks... Oh, and I I forgot to say, with each page, flashes of visions go through your mind as well. Mm -hmm. And flashes of not only visions of the past, but also visions of the various creatures of which this is their home, this is their land, this is the place that they have known and nothing else now gone from them. And the last vision you see with the last page you pick up is an owlin with its back turned to you, walking into the darkness in shame. Hashtag not my fucking problem. Anyway, (laughs) but no, that that was very good. That was very good. Yeah, go ahead. Um, But Honeymoon... Kind of still, kind of her back to phases, looking out at the portal, um, holding some of the pages, and she goes, uh, "Hang on, we'll figure out how to word this." Um, Partners, equal in power, neither superior to the other, and when none other, and when no one else can be trusted, we shall still have each other. Yes. And she looks over her shoulder at Phazos. Phazos turns. Kind of looking at the the destruction that they've wrought. Yes. Honeymoon. This is a true partnership. I I said earlier, it is an empire that I would rule. However, that's not entirely true. I wouldn't be alone. Makes it a little bit better. Honeymoon smiles like a, a full, like, like satisfied proper smile um and she says and she holds out her hand daintily uh and says well then when the entire material plane is ours let's expand the empire here shall we indeed i'm going to take her hand we'll need a boat i think (laughs) that would make things easier yes you can see that Sharn now looks out at the display of nothing but ocean now. And she seems herself kind of in awe at the destruction of it all. Uh, not in shock quite, but amazed at how much is gone now. She yeah. doesn't say anything, but she just kind of follows you along. Now, Honeymoon, yeah, Honeymoon kind of notices and she says, Oh, don't fret, Sharn. With this, we'll have the power to build whatever we desire. And with it, with all that knowledge, Honeymoon, instinctually, with creation magic in your mind, the secrets of the K, created by that powerful magician many years ago, you are able to make what you need. 
Oh? With a flick of your wrist. Oh, you my. You can conjure a boat as if it were nothing. Oh, my. Starting the beginning of your rule. Yeah, for flavor, it's like glowing white gold with like and, and translucent with bits of like stars and stuff. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of purple for Phaedrus's tie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> honey, honey, one will put that in. Is it yeah. banner? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck, yes. <laughs> and you you hop on, you head through the portal with this newfound power that you have looking towards the horizon of a new era of magic and a new rule. As And Honeymoon will link arms with phases as we kind of look out over the horizon. <laughs> oh, fuck, yes. This is the best way it could have possibly gone. <laughs> And that will be the end of Honeymoon and Phasos' story. Yeah. That is the end of the Golden Cave. Oh my fucking god. That Holy was great. shit, man. <laughs> I was, I seriously thought you guys were going to like stand in each other's ways when it came to this. I'm surprised that you were just like, no, I'm just going to let them destroy the island. <laughs> I'm I mean, so surprised Phasos survived that. I was like, <laughs> if any of my characters I'm okay with dying, it's Phasos. Yeah. And he didn't die. And I'm <laughs> so I, surprised. Here, here's here's the big thing. It's like, Tibeth did not know what was on those pages. She had no idea what was going <laughs> on with the whole creation stuff. So as far as she understood it, she was like, they're going to try to take shit, and then they're just going to die. So it's not going to be her problem anyway. No, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the only reason why she was going to start taking up arms against Phazos was because he was threatening innocent lives. Mm -hmm. And she's like, uh, nah, that shit don't fly with me. Uh, but then he relented, so she was like, "All right, Latilla, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> An evil uh, mastermind has to know when to relent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't know when to fold him. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is so juicy. I'm so glad things with Honeymoon and Phazos panned out the way they did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to play in a campaign where like <laughs> Honeymoon and Phazos are the main villain. <laughs> I'll, I'll I, run it. I'll do it. <laughs>